All right, y'all, it's Friday, and you know what that means? It means it's best of 2023 watch. Pretty sure I've accidentally, accidentally said 2022 in several streams. It's best of 2023 watch where we play the latest games in search of the greatest games of the year. And today we are highlighting Incolinati. Might be butchering that. And we're going to play A Space for the Unbound. Um, Inkalinati is the one we're starting with. This came across my timeline in some way. Maybe it was a retweet. Maybe it wasn't even an email. I don't know. But this came on my radar and I was immediately kind of drawn to it and curious about it. Uh, this is an ink based strategy game that is from medieval manuscripts where, like, you know, you have rabbits, you have like these different, you know, members of the town. It's kind of meant to be like, in a way, um, you know, Forbes talks about it as like a Monty Python-esque medieval themed strategy game. Um, it's available on PC and on Xbox. It's still technically an early access game. Um, on Steam, it is going for about 25 bucks. I imagine on consoles around the same. And again, it is a Game Pass available game. I do have it just direct through a code provided by um, the developer. So we're gonna jump into this. I've been dabbling with strategy games for a while, so let's see how this goes let's double check our settings to start off just to see if there's anything we really want to change let me also raise on my end so i can see my mixer a little bit better so i can see chat a little bit better um hey trying to figure out what to play post ragnar oh that's always a tough one fast mode interesting tool tips let's leave everything standard but the, the tool tips is interesting to me and there's new journey and academy let's start with the stuff on the side it says welcome to Inkulinati. Our game is currently available in early access. We will continue to improve it over the next months. Expect new beasts, playable tiny Inkulinati, talents, and so much more to come in the future. Since Inkulinati is still in development, you may encounter bugs or issues with some elements of the game. We strongly encourage you to send us your feedback or any bug reports, as well as join our Discord server. The best way to start your adventure is by exploring the Academy. Good luck. So let's start with the Academy and see what's up. Basic lessons. Okay, so this is kind of where they put the tutorialization of the game, it seems. Um, yo, what's up, Unique Technique? How's it going? But yeah, I mean, it's really just what uh, what you're in the mood for. Um, I wonder what my first game after Ragnarok, I frankly have no idea. I cannot remember that far back, but I guess it was just whatever's out next. I still want to go back and get the platinum on that one. Um, all right, let's learn the basic for these duels. And again, I'm not a strategy expert, so I'm curious as to like how this is going to go. I also think on top of like the medieval art style, this kind of paper craft art style, we're also seeing a bit of the a bit of paper, a bit of play, right? Stuff like Tinykin, stuff like um, the Tiny Squire. No, the Plucky Squire coming out later this year. Uh, thanks for the follow. Definitely a, a bit of a vibe. Okay. The Inklanati masters battle along the margins of medieval manuscripts. In this encounter with a pack of wild beasts, your tiny Inklanati will only, sorry, will be the one to draw your army. What happens during a battle? Use living ink to draw your beast, command your beast to attack, buff friendly beasts, obtain more living ink. Okay, so it seems like it's kind of like a drawing based mechanic, maybe? This is your tiny Inklanati. They help you draw an army. Oh, okay, so this is the person that, okay, you're drawing the army. The tiny Inklanati are self-portraits of the real Inklanati masters bending over the manuscript. They are much bigger than their tiny representations. Just wait till you see their hands, okay? You can draw beasts in the field. In the fields close to your tiny Inklanati, the arch, arches, right? Mark your drawing range. Green arches mark the field where an action can be performed. Purple marks the range where an action can be performed. Uh, example of that field is occupied by a beast, and the cost of beast is shown in the drop icon next to its portrait. Right off the bat, I do, well, which we'll see how they do it after I'm done reading these, but I do wish that they had, exactly, like, drop me in here right, right away, like, give me a more scripted tutorial moment is personally how I prefer to learn in these contexts, but let's see how this goes. So, uh, it says... Finally fell back on Persona 5 Royale, fifth time. <laughs> yeah, man, fifth, sometimes it takes that many times, you know? Sometimes it's like knocking over a refrigerator. Okay, um, sword wielding dog, already a fan. Love that. Pretty strong and resilient for a dog, has a shield that can block high damage and a sword that can only attack adjacent fields. Can also attack 
both adjacent fields at once. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Sword. Okay. Shield. Okay. All right. And it's like toggle hints. Okay. So hints on and off is going to be like left on the D-pad. Okay. So I go and I draw. Newly drawn beasts are drowsy, so they have to take a nap, meaning they won't be able to- Hey, play forward, what's good? 28 months subbed, good to see ya. Um, newly drawn beasts are drowsy, so they have to take a nap, meaning they won't be able to act in this chapter. When all beasts and the tiny line take a nap, a new chapter begins. Okay, so I'm guessing chapters are turns, for lack of a better term, right? Um... Inquilani masters take turns moving their beasts one at a time. Let your tiny take a nap now and await the next chapter. Okay. So then should I just hit Y to take a nap? Okay. So I drew them my nap so that I can go the next chapter or I'm guessing turn, right? All right. Hey, the Bidoof hat. <laughs> I hate getting hit in, in strategy games. I know some, like, you kind of have to get hit, but I would rather just run around and avoid it. This is like the most of the uh, top part of my shelf y'all have seen. Hold on, let me make sure I don't have a message. Do I have a message? I might have some messages. Mm, these ones are old. Oh, cool. Okay. The only thing is there's not, like, as clear of a move for making this bigger. Make sure I'm actually putting this on my ears. Okay. Badoo fat. Okay, moving a beast onto a field. A green field walk range will not end its turn. You can still take an action once a beast has moved. You cannot switch to a different one. Okay, cool. So typical move, turn. Moving a beast onto the yellow field, sprint range, or taking an action without any movement will force the beast to take an action. Okay, so it seems like it's just kind of talking about the turn mechanics. Had to pick up my nephew from school, and as soon as I get home, my sister's asking me to get food. Why did she not ask me when I was already out? Yeah, that'll happen. That's always rough. The beast can still take an action after moving at its range. The beast will take a nap at the end of its turn. Okay. Oh, shoot. I didn't read the last part. Okay, now I'm a little scared. But I can attack from here, though, right? So I'm guessing I can... And then can I attack? Okay, choose the attack action. Swords only attack adjacent fields if your target is not... Right, okay. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, so, okay, it's RB and LB to, like, move between. Beast action dexterity. Once you confirm your target, you will see a moving arrow. If you stop the arrow in the attack zone, your beast will deal the amount of damage drawn. If you stop the arrow on the skull, the enemy beast will be killed. You have a few seconds to stop the arrow. Interesting. Always fun to see, like, how people do... See, and I wish I played Paper Mario to, like, make that comparison, but it's always cool to see, like, how people go about like making their version of a strategy game because I think a lot of them share the same base mechanics but there's always like something a little different so I want to get the skull okay oh man these are a lot more intense than I thought so seven is what I want okay let's see Ugh. okay I feel like this dog's gonna not gonna make it very far or very very long um okay so at this point i can only like draw the dogs then yes like can i just draw a dog here you can take this action immediately if there's a beast on the field hmm this means a beast is in range but you cannot take this action you can push a praying beast even with Huh. I'm a little confused on what they mean by that. So. What would be the benefit of me pushing that forward? Okay. Damn. 
he's dead. In addition to Drunk Beast, the tiny Inkle Naughty. I think they need, like, well, this is a tutorial area, because hopefully they have more music underneath. Um, hey, I've been so busy. I really have time to stop like I used to. And it's all good. I'm glad you could, could make it here. Uh, hopefully busy with good things. She goes super well. Um, doo -doo -doo. I'm making my first HelloFresh. Yeah, let me know how that goes, Ash. Um, I've always been interested in, like, HelloFresh and stuff, but, like, monetarily, it's never quite made sense for how much they want versus, like, what I can do at a grocery store. Um. All right, let's see. In addition to drawing beasts, the tiny Inkle Naughty has a secret weapon. Hand actions. Unlike other beasts, the tiny Naughty can perform any number of variable actions during their turn. Okay. Select the tiny Inkle Naughty and then choose the SWAT action and target an enemy. Okay, if the enemy is out of range, you can move him closer. Okay, just select a different beast, hover over and select it. Remember, you can only do this if you haven't performed an action already. Okay. So I guess they just want me to do that now. Yes? Badoof. Like a potential Isaiah game. But I don't know. I'm still in the uh, tutorial. So I think they want me to... <sighs> I mean, I think they want me to do this hand action, right? But like, is it... It's not this. This is like moving. Oh, let's look at the hints. Okay. Man, that's, that's like a lot of information. I know it's like, obviously like explaining everything, but... Um... Huh. How do I do these? Let me see if I can figure out how to do these hand actions. Oh, okay. So I have to toggle on to like the ankle naughty, like the guy drawing. And then now I see the hand actions. Okay. So, so we have this one that's like sliding things over. This one I think is like attacking maybe. Let's just do this one. See what happens. Okay. Some hand actions have a cooldown. This means once you use them, you can't use them for a certain number of chapters, AK turns. I do wish they kind of like sp spelled out some of that. Like I know that because I've played a couple of these type of games where it's like, okay, the chapter is clearly just a cute way to say turns, but I feel like they, they could spell that out. Um, the number by the hourglass icon shows you how many chapters remain before the cooldown ends. Okay. Time for a nap. I'm sure you can handle your enemies on your own. Wake me up when you're done. Okay. I mean, we'll see. So next thing to do, I guess, Okay, the beast has already moved, so you can't select another beast. Okay, so then I have to... I can only do this then? Let's see. I mean, this I think is just moving, so I guess, like... I'll just go to sleep at this point? I don't know if that's the best thing to do. Okay, so he has six left. This guy only has two. I think we're like, we can't do any hand actions for a bit anyway. Um, well, it looks like anything will kill this guy, so that's good. So I guess let's just do that. He's so noble. I'm a little confused, but like the ink, I guess the ink is drawing my enemies, right? Oh, not my enemies, but my like army. I don't know if this is gonna kill me. No, it, I mean, it gets me, like, pretty low, but I'm not dead yet. The icon at the top of the screen switches hints on and off. Okay, oh, okay, and I can, like, move around on anything and it'll tell me stuff. Okay. Okay. I think I'm kind of okay. I, I sort of get it, I think. Um, so he can't attack yet because he has to move further, so I think we'll do him walking over here, then we'll have him attack, and anything's gonna kill, so we, just, we don't have to worry about that. Making pan crusted salmon uh, with potatoes, nice! Uh, I got a really good deal with HelloFresh now, and just got comped for meals, because the ice storm here has slowed down uh, a day. Well, nice on one hand, right? It's like... Good for the deal. Sucks for the ice storm. I'm the best. Congratulations. You did it somehow. Great. Okay. Admittedly, not my favorite tutorialization. I feel like it could have been a little smoother, but I think I understand what's going on. So that's all that really matters. Oh, wait, but did I do this already then? Maybe this is like, is this just the same thing again? Hold on. Hold on. 
No, I guess they are. This is like a different set of tutorials, I think. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, everyone has like a different username everywhere. Okay, let's see. Making, pay uh, no, I read that part already. Okay. So, hand action. Hand action move. Choose between move left and move right. Um, the selected beast, friend, or enemy will move onto the first unoccupied field in the chosen direction. No unoccupied field is too bad. Means beast falls into an abyss. So I can push people off to their death, basically. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so. Would it just be this to like push him off to his death? And then. Okay. Makes sense. I was not expecting an FMV moment in this game. <laughs> I know. And it's going on for like a little while. Because they have beef, you know, like. Yeah, that was a trip, not gonna lie. Okay, welcome, a future champion of the Inkle Nadi. Okay. Two masters of living ink will duel on the margins of an ancient manuscript. This is your entry exam. You'll be playing Godfrey in a duel against Hildegard, the Holy Church Reformer. The tiny Inkle Nadi is a unique beast. Unlike others, they cannot walk on their own. You need to push your tiny friend in order for them to move. In order to win an Inkle Nadi duel, you must destroy your opponent's tiny Inkle Nadi. To do this, either reduce its health to zero, push it into the abyss, or the fire of the apocalypse. Okay. Here, you can see how much living ink each Inkle Nadi currently has. Keep an eye on it. I'm kind of confused on what the ink... I think the ink's just for drawing. Like, creating your, like, army or whatever. Sword attacks deal the most damage. Although they can only target adjacent fields, spear attacks can reach two fields away and have the longest melee reach. And then bow attacks can go up to six fields, except for the adjacent ones. Beasts that use bows have the lowest amount of health, however. Okay. Okay. And then you can press this for like the hints and stuff to like learn more about the rules. All right. Okay. Hmm. I mean, it's tough. Um, maybe just like, you know, we might not even get through this part, so maybe just like one of each to start and see what could, what could happen. And then I can move people over. I don't know what this one does. Let me see if I can... What does this one do? So this is a SWAT. Strikes the selected target for five damage. Okay, so this is a hit and these are just slides. It's like a push. Okay, you push either way. Okay. Okay, so I think I would... Well, also, we can't attack yet, but... Oops. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Can I undo? I can't undo. Okay. Well, that is what it is. Um... Ooh. 
I just put him back. I don't know if that makes any sense, but let's just go to sleep at this point. Let's just go to sleep. Okay, now everyone's awake. You can collect living ink by standing on an ink blot. You receive three drops for living ink for each beast standing on an ink blot at the end of the chapter. Okay, interesting. All right. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's turn off the hints because it's a little much. And I think you can only move one space at a time is the thing. Wait, how do I not? Hmm. I just want to like select, do I have to just select it with this? Can I not just like? Hold on. I think I'm on, I'm still in like the tool mode maybe? Hmm. Okay, okay. Some of the UI is a little bit, a lot to piece together. Okay, so he can do this, but then he can't do anything else. But that could be worth it. So let's just do that, see how it'll go. Ooh, and there's also prey, what does that do? Special attack AOE. Special AOE attacks allow you to hit multiple enemies at once. You will not deal any extra damage to a single target, but you can attack two or even three at once. Okay. And then I actually don't know what the prayer is. Gives a halo and makes the target unpushable. Hmm. I mean... Uh, I'm not sure which one I should do. Let's not think about it too much because at this point, I don't really know what I need to be doing. I think this is still just this guy right here. Let's just, you know what? Let's just pray and so we can kind of learn what's up with it. Praying will cause the beast to execute a more powerful attack on the next move. Okay, praying beasts are unpushable in the next turn. You can't, okay. All right, it's kind of interesting. Oh no. Okay. Okay, okay. So now we have this guy. No way to play a perfect game at the beginning of a strategy like this. Exactly, yeah, but uh, it's so hard to let go. Okay, I can hit this guy from here, so I think let's... And I'm not... I'm a little bit confused on... And this is probably the thing they need to tell me, but I didn't absorb it fully. Like, can I have mul... I think I can have multiple people attack in one move. Ah, oh, that's really tough. That goes so fast. Okay, well... Not the best. Okay, so only one person can attack per move, I think. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe not. Our other beasts are taking a nap. Okay. Can I maybe draw someone else, though? I don't think I want to move. I think I'm just gonna pray. Or not pray, sleep, I mean. Okay. Okay. Oof. Okay, switch between your active beast by pressing the assigned key or LTRT. If you're playing with a mouse, you may need to switch by clicking on the beast after each after either moving or using an action, you cannot switch to another beast. Okay, so basically only one person I think can do something at a time. Um so I think, well, he's still asleep. Why is he still asleep? Oh, he, he's not asleep. Okay, no, it's, it's all good. All right, cool. Let's try this then. Oh, no matter what, I'm going to kill, so that's great. But really, my goal is to get to her and do damage to her. So we probably got to work on that because I haven't really done any damage to her, so... Um, I think 
we can maybe hold on let's see let's see let's see I think we could use one of these um can I push further than this because this isn't that far can he also walk let's see if he can and also he gets ink from that though so that's good okay so now let's go okay right so I can only oh but I can draw somebody else because I have ink okay it's, I'm kind of getting it let's get a spear person there it's a bit of a lot to take in but I think we're gonna get through it okay so no one else can do anything because I already had one beast move so I think my only thing I think is to just take a nap at this point but he can move but why can he move that's the thing Okay, let's have him... The question is, is he gonna, like, go to sleep after that? No, he can still attack. Great. Okay. Hmm. So there's this one. Let's look at the hints. So there's this move. Attacks a single target. And this one attacks up to three targets, up to six feet away. Cannot attack adjacent fields. Attacks up to three targets. Hmm. Why would I want to pick that one? Is it, like... I'm not sure. What, why would I not want to pick that one, though? It's Hildegard. They're the very same. Um, I wonder why I wouldn't want to pick Hail of Arrows. Oh, it can only be used every two chapters. Oh, okay. So now I kind of see why I wouldn't want to always do it. Uh, let's do that for now. Oh, and it runs like simultaneously, which is interesting. Oh. Well, that's not good. Like, that can't be good. Oh, God. He's gonna hit me, isn't he? Yeah. This is the beginning of the end of the battle. At first, you'll see the field that's gonna be affected by the apocalypse. Next chapter, everything clear. Your okay. So, you can't be staying in that spot or you'll be dead. I'm so incredibly delighted that they made this game. Thank you for streaming it. Uh, how many hours are left so far? Uh, a pun based on the same. Uh, I just started it, so I am like literally less than well under half an hour because we started. We went actually no, I'm around half an hour because I started recording when we started, and I'm still in the tutorial phase, like that first kind of tutorial boss. Um, but yeah, it's it's solid so far. I do think it's taking me a while to kind of wrap my head around the systems. Um, but it's not too bad. I've, I've played things that are more complicated and not in a good way, like things that are more confusing. So I feel like it's, it's solid. Oh, also, hold on. I finished my Badoof Redemption. I got to bring back the, um, the Scrubs one too at some point. Now that my back is like better. Okay. Hold on. The only thing I don't like about these headphones is probably that like, it's harder to like adjust them. Like the adjustment's more precise. But like, since I, and most people aren't adjusting them very often, but since I have the hats and stuff, I end up adjusting them, so. Uh, there's a long list of ancient scrolls of D&D nerds called Spells Not Worth Memorizing by uh, Joel Hahn. If you Google it, it should come up. Okay, that's interesting. Um, let's see, what do we got here? Okay. So, I have like 8 million people on the battlefield, I have barely damaged this woman. Okay, um... Honestly, can I just... Well, no, not this person. Can we is, can this just be like my main guy over here? Can we just have... Hold on, hold on. So I'm on this person. Let's just try it, see what happens. Oh, yes, got it, got it for four. Okay. Okay, she's only, she's down to two. I'm a little confused on how to get the most out of my turns. Cause I feel like I haven't been doing that. Okay, I can't push her off because she's like too far away from me. So that's not gonna work. Um. Okay, so maybe not, not him, but.
Maybe we can go... Okay, I'm gonna walk this dog over here. Can I still attack? Okay, I can. Okay, and we'll do a kill. So, let's just do that. Guaranteed kill. Okay. And then I can still move. I'm a little confused on, like, the moves. And I'm sure it's just me missing it. But, like, on when I, when I can do what or... Let's go here and we'll sleep because then I'll also get like the ink bonus from that. And then let's also just move over because the fire is going to start closing in on us. I kind of like that they do have the apocalyptic fire because it stops the match from going for like forever. Um, so it kind of like it quite literally and metaphorically lights a fire under you to like wrap up the match. Okay, so I guess we're just going to go to sleep at this point. Oh. Yeah, obviously I figured she should be doing that. It seems like something she'd do. Okay, okay, okay. She only has two left, so... Oh yeah, here we go. I kind of wish the sound effect for that was maybe a little bit like more in tune with the theme. I've proven my more priority. She's say coming. The time for penitence is upon me. It is pretty cute that they like write, like presumably they're writing in the background like what's happening. I have to go buy this wonderful game. Well, good news, you don't necessarily even have to buy it um it's early access right now so you can you can buy it on pc and xbox it's also available through game pass if you have game pass um like if you have game pass you already bought this game outstanding you've made it to the academy you can continue practicing the academy or take your final exam okay cool i mean what's my final exam is it intermediate lessons hmm Mmm, that's a lot. You know what? Let's just see, can we like start the game and be okay? We're gonna try it. Just because... For beginners, um... For diligent students, for experts... Um, I think let's start with the for beginners. Normally I do play on normal for everything, but I just think... I, uh, the way they describe it, it's like for beginners. I do feel like I'm a beginner at this. There's a lot of stuff that I'm still kind of wrapping my head around. So let's start simple. I do like that you can make your own little character. Hmm. Hmm, cute. Name cannot be changed later. That's kind of intense. Let's just make my... Oh, hold on. Whoops. No! No! Let me change my... I wasn't finished. I hit X and I didn't realize that was next. Um, no spoilers, but would you consider the third episode tragic? Uh, no, I wouldn't consider it tragic. Um, it's moving. It's emotional. Some aspects are sad, but I, I, de I definitely wouldn't say it's tragic. Um, you will cry. I think, like, 90% of people will cry. And I think you should lean into the tears, because that's my regret from watching it. Again, no spoilers. Please don't spoil it. Please do not spoil episode 3 of HBO The Last of Us. Um, see, that's weird to me, Piccolo. I'm sorry. Like, it's just, it's odd. Isaiah didn't cry either. Neither of my siblings cried. I'm a crier. Yeah, so what I regret from that episode is not crying harder, because I kind of, like held it in a bit just because um i was watching with my family and i didn't want to like disrupt from the moment by like being like <laughs> you know like so i'm just like i had like the tears falling down and i was like oh my god and then like after i finished watching everyone was like oh i was crying like all my family was like oh i was crying um and i was when all of them had the same thing they're like i didn't want to like like make a like take everyone else out of the moment you know because we're watching it together um isaiah did not cry but that's wild. So if you're a crier, I think you're going to cry. I think if you never cry, um, I guess I could probably still be the same. 
Um, Edwin told me he and Maggie cried. Yeah, they did cry, but they didn't like audibly like make noise when they cried. Like they weren't like blubbering. And that's what I'm talking about. Like none of us wanted to like cause a scene in the sense that like everyone else is also watching it. Um, yeah, Isaiah's like, he plays by his own rules. You know, he's got his own thing going on. Strong woman in these difficult times. Huh, I wonder what's going on here. I don't really understand. Require prestige. Oh, oh, okay. I think I understand this. So I'm guessing, and if anyone knows, feel free to chime in, that when you get that level of prestige, you can unlock different beasts. But like with what I have, I can just choose between the dogs and the bunnies. Um, uh, play four. can you do a poll in the chat? Dogs or bunnies? If you're around, you might be on the go on mobile. I don't know if you are. And I think I'll just stick to the, the hand movements I had because... Well, I wish I could... Oh, here we go. Tip mode. It definitely does feel like a game that's made more for PC in the sense that, like, in my opinion, the, the controller inputs aren't quite that intuitive. But I will say, like, I barely feel that. I think the... I think it on controller is actually pretty solid, but I do feel like it might go a little bit better for PC. Um, doggos or bunnies? Bunnies. Okay, hand actions used on a friendly beast increase their halo level by one. Okay, what's the other one though? Hold on. And this one I get like more grants for, um, I guess the other one, I feel like it was defaulted to there. And then I am curious what this one is. Healing. Can I heal myself? We'll just stick to what we know. Because we, we're just starting, so... If this is an L, it's an L. Alright, dogs or bunnies? Let it go for a little bit longer, and then... Um, but yeah, it was a great episode, and it definitely was one of those where, like, it gave me media hangover, where you finish it, and you're just like... What what is even the point of doing anything anymore? Like, not in a depressed way, but just like, well, what do I do now? It's like when you finish a really good game or really like compelling book and you're just like, like you're just a shell. Like, I think I did play more Dead Space after that, but it didn't hit the same. It did not hit the same. So I was like, what am I even doing here? You know, it's just shooting off these limbs. Like, isn't it feels so needless now? And you know, but. It was really good. I hope you like it. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, we're leaning heavy on the bunnies, but I'm gonna let it go for the full time. Uh, in the meantime, I will remind y'all. It sounds like an ad. I guess it kind of is, right? Um, is this my YouTube or is my pen and paper? Yeah. So I have a YouTube channel. I am really gonna be on it this year, and I have been so far uploading my VODs. So the VODs are great because it's an easy way to watch uh, any streams that you miss. And it looks just like this, you know, you got the chat, you can really feel like you're in it. It's awesome. Um, that's also where I'm going to do other content too. I'm still figuring out what other videos I want to make besides like my Twitch VODs. I definitely want to do more. Um, I do plan on getting on that uh, YouTube shorts while the monetization is still good for it. So um, yeah, you know, I got all that stuff. Uh, I also have socials, you know, TikTok, Instagram. Twitter's on there, but we all know that's very fast circling the drain. Um, so I'm looking to, you know, really try to grow my other platforms, put out content on those other platforms, um, you know, have longevity in the space and all that. So uh, yeah, go subscribe to those things, follow those things. Uh, if you enjoy the content, you probably will like the other content that I do in other places. It's different versions of the same vibe. Uh, all right, we're going with bunnies. Let me make sure I don't mess it up there. Oh, here we go. Here we go. And then we're just gonna hit next. Um, so far, I like this. Like not love. I don't know if I'm compelled enough to want to keep playing after this. Let's see as we kind of get into the actual story. Um, should I figure out how to block TikTok now? Yeah, that TikTok's been in varying degrees of hot water over time. Um, but for me, it's like the first new social media platform that I've really, really enjoyed. And before I started posting, I was just in it as like a consumer, as like a viewer, and it's still like 
probably my favorite way to like consume random content too. So much of my the other content I consume, not for bad reasons, but like on Twitter, you know, I want the people I follow. On YouTube, I want the things I subscribe to. Sometimes I'll dip into the algorithm, but you know, it's not my go-to. TikTok's like, show me what you think I want and y'all nail it every time, it's wild. Um, all right, so it says modify. I think we'll just go to go to next. Hopefully that's not incorrect. Love love the map. Love the cute little like it is like tablecloth-y, but I kind of like that. It reminds me of uh, Mario. Okay, today you will pass your final exam and set off on your journey. You still have to face a wild beast encounter before your exam, though. Wild beast encounter. Just select the wild beast encounter icon. Um, encounters are marked with a sword and a quill. Um. The tiny icon is not present inside, but once you get to the cage, you cannot leave. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's just try it. Again, we might be dipping in too early. I don't know if I want them knowing me like that. That is fair. I think if you don't, probably not a good place for you. Um, but I, I, I love that platform so much. Okay, let's see. Everyone through chapters. Okay. Not gonna lie, I'm starting to get a little bit like, mm, should we have taken that exam should we have done differently change army i don't have any uh, anything else right so okay let's just try it see actually am i too weak for this hold on i'm confused because i don't have that many like beasts is this normal should i like Ooh. I feel like I'm not guaranteed to lose. Let's just go. It's not real life. If we if we die, it's not a big deal. You encounter various beasts. Battlefield elements and random events. Maybe I should have done that extra studying. I don't know. If you spot a beast or an element you haven't seen before, use the hints and just learn more. L3. Um, the little like what do you guys call that menu? The window menu? I don't know. Instructions tab. Ah, okay. General stuff. Okay. Pause. Or select. Oh, man. See, I call the one with the three lines the hamburger. And I think I call the other ones the windows. I don't know. But we're gonna see. We might have made a grave error here. Yeah, the hamburger is the start menu. I feel like the other one, windows is select. Yeah, okay. So I, I probably call that just... I just call it windows. Um... Hold on, what do they say about... the? What are these things again? Clothing chest. Needs to be moved before you can stand in the field. Attackable, pushable, but it's also a blockade. Blocks physical attacks. Okay. All right. Oh yeah, so let's draw somebody first. Let's start with... I mean, they have a sword and, a, and um, a spear out. Let's. Why don't we try our little arrow boy first? And he's gonna have to nap first. And then we can do this guy. He's also starting on ink, which is cool, I guess. Um, I mean, he can't do anything because he is asleep. But let's just, let's move him. Why not? Okay. I don't think I want to move the other one yet. I think let's just go to sleep. Oh, I forget where Y is. That's the problem. It's above. Okay. Okay, collecting ink in the wild encounters is important. For every 12 drops of ink, you receive a special bonus. All your beasts are getting some help. Okay. Be careful. The enemy can benefit from draining ink too. Okay. Okay. So hold on. Can I hit like... Can I... Okay, so there's this guy. And then there's this guy also. What is this? This looks like a little booty cheek. 
Here comes the butt. <laughs> Causes the enemy to take a nap, get a headache, and decrease accuracy. This action won't work if the target isn't facing your beast. Huh. Was not expecting that. Hey, how was uh, Dead Ra Face Remake? Do you like it? Uh, yeah, I really like the Dead Face Remake. Um, it's awesome. The highs are very high. Um, there are a couple lows that do irk me in terms of some checkpointing things, in terms of, uh, I think when it deviates from its core gameplay of we're exploring each room, we're cutting off limbs, it goes into like, really just the zero G stuff I'm not a big fan of, like it feels kind of tedious. I mean, I get that like the, you know, you're fixing a ship, but the way they like bring in little enemies and then like, uh, I just find that experience a bit frustrating personally. Um, but I like it overall, really hoping to finish it soon. I am 12 hours in, but I'm only on chapter like eight. Um, I'm hoping the last couple chapters will go faster than the earlier ones, because I'd love to get that wrapped up as, you know, game season's starting to pick up. So, you know, I got, got to make space for new things. But yeah, really enjoying it. Not too scary either. Shenanigan, thanks for the follow. Oh yeah, they go faster. Okay, cool. What about uh, you or, or really anyone? Y'all playing um, Dead Space? Okay, what do I want to do here? So... Oh, why can he only... Why is he only... I thought he's facing the other way, though, no? Hmm... Can he not, like... Is it because he can't fire through... the other stuff? I'm not sure, but let's... Yeah, maybe something like that. Okay, let's... Let's just fight this guy. But then when I fight this guy, I can't do anything else, right? I guess we'll find out now, because I'm kind of confused on the attack versus, like, ending your turn. Ooh, nailed it. Yeah, I think once I attack, once anyone attacks, like, my turn is done. At least for that creature. If anyone's picking up on this, let me know, because I'm, I'm a little bit confused. Um, speed ran it for th in three hours was my max. Still my favorite horror game. Nice. Um, okay, so... What's this one, though? This is like a push? But I have to be facing that way, right? So I can only push, like, the other thing. Okay, um, and then there's prayer, there's the butt thing. But I gotta be facing to do that, and I'm not facing. Okay, let's just do the spear attack. And see how that goes. Oh, four. Would have really wanted five, but that's okay. I am only, like, at three, though, for this enemy. Maybe I should have attacked... Maybe I should have attacked the dude on the left. Maybe I shouldn't be splitting up people, because people are not strong enough to handle all of this. Here's a question, though. Can I... Um... Hmm... This, like, does damage or something, right? Hmm. Let's just try it. Let's get to know the controls a little bit. That's so funny. Okay. Hmm. Sure. He has to sleep, though, before he can attack, so I don't think he's really going to be able to do anything. Hmm. I do think they need a little bit more music. Like right now, it's like dead quiet. And it's a little it's a little odd. Um, okay. I think that's it for stuff I want to do. So I'm sad because I think that guy's gonna die. Okay, I did get a lot of ink though from that. <gasps> no! Okay, um, okay, not too bad, not too bad. Um... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't actually want to be this guy, I want to be... The spear guy. And I actually just want to attack, because... 
and anything will do it, so boom. Okay. Hmm. Let me look at this sword guy. There's not really a great spot for him. Can I push the... Hold on, though. Okay. Like, would this help at all? I don't know what this would do. Let's just do it and see what happens. Nah, it didn't really, like, help like that, but... Oh, well. Let me see, would it- would it help me to actually, like, break this? Ooh, but you know what I could maybe do? Can I move now, though? Can I walk to, like, stand over there? I can. Okay. Let's do that, and then- yep. There we go. Okay! We're kind of figuring things out a little bit. Um... Oh! Yay! We did it! Okay. We did it. That's great, Eddie. That's awesome. Good news, I assume? Yeah, you know, take the time to, to bask in it a bit, you know? Celebrate the good stuff that happens. Okay, we got five prestige, 25 gold. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so. Do I then go to this guy now? Your health regenerates a little bit after every battle and by how many points you may ask. Like I said, it depends on your difficulty. If you lose your health, do you lose the battle? When you lose battle, you restore to one full health and lose one quill. If you lose the battle and don't have any quills left, your journey's over. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Ah, okay. To decrease boredom, draw a from beast near battle. Fight a beast versus beast battle or go to the chapel. Okay. Oh, so these are like... Okay, so I think these are just, like, little tips, then. And then these are, like, the battles. Okay! I kinda get it. I kinda- I'm kinda getting it now. I think. Maybe. Alright. Alright, alright. Let's... Well, I can't really change the army because I only have, like, these creatures. So I guess we'll just go. Yeah, okay. Not sure how this is all gonna pan out, but... Oof. Oh, hold on one second, let me... Whew. Okay, sometimes your beast will need to move up or down. Okay, so now it's, uh... Like Donkey Kong. Like old school Donkey Kong. You can use the ladders to go up or down a level. Flying beasts don't need to. You can sometimes use beast actions and even attack enemies on different levels. Not with the sword though. Check the action range. Just, wait, hold on. I did not listen to that. Let me go back. Let me go back. Okay, can you use the ladders to go up or down? Flying beasts can just go up or down. You can sometimes use beast actions and attack enemies on different levels. Not with the sword, though. You need the spear to do that, because it has the range needed. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So what should we start off with? So now... So I already have some friends. Bartholomew. Bartholomew. Man, there's a lot happening here. Okay, um... Let's think. Who is that? Okay, so I have 
Okay. This guy's sleeping. Oh, a Space of the un Unbound. Yes, I was like, a Stufu? A Space of the Unbound. Yeah, me too. Um, basically, I was put onto that by Rebecca and Michael. Um, like, both of them were really hot on it, so I was like, okay, this is obviously something I have to play. Let me reach out, let me get code, let me get to playing this. Um, so we'll see. Okay, what do I do here? What should I do? So I'm this guy. I mean, he would have to go down the ladder, I think. What happens if he stands here? Like, what is, what is going on here? What is this? Is this something? Cloud of Divine Inspiration. Major Blessing. I mean, that's pretty cool. I mean, I think we might as well stand there. Tell me. Wait, let me see the. Okay, so. Why is he still sleeping? Why is everybody still sleeping? Okay. I mean, you might as, might as well, right? So just call it there. Okay. No. Damn. How to steer your eyes. You can steer your eyes. Some call it a camera. Um, that's funny. In order to examine the manuscript or study the battlefield. Okay. Do you like survival horror games, Janet? Um, seems like there's loads this year at Dead Space, Resident Evil. Um, uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm open to them. I wouldn't, I don't know if I want to say I like them because I really only play Resident Evil. I feel like, I feel like what, obviously you, everyone's free to like label their taste however they want to. But for me, I feel like me only liking one franchise within a genre. For that, that's like not quite broad enough. So I, f I do feel the need to put some caveats on it. Um, I'm open to survival horror. I actually never played original Alan Wake. I have it ready to go, like the the remake or remaster or whatever. Um, Resident Evil 4 is also one that I've barely dabbled into when it came on Switch. Um, but I'm enjoying Dead Space a lot. So I think maybe after this year, I'll be able to say that I like survival horror, but I'm just kind of easily frightened. So I don't play a lot of spooky games. Okay, we can kill this guy from here, so let's let's try it. Yeah, most of the things could kill him, which is nice. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't actually find Dead Space to be that scary. Like, there are, um... You know, I I have been scared by it. Like, if you go back to, like, my stream on it, you know, with the VOD here, the video on YouTube, like, I have moments where I was like, ah, but I don't really find it to be that scary. Um, it's not nearly as scary as, like, Resident Evil 7 is, like, my horror limit. Um, I don't even know how I played that game, but I did. I, I love that game. But, yeah, anything beyond that is way too much. So, I don't know. I'm due to try Alan Wake. Currently assigned between Resi, Replay, Before 4... Or just having fun on Devil May Cry. <sighs> I think just having fun on Devil May Cry. Unless you get a kick out of the comparison. Like if you're like, I want to replay it to like see the differences. Then I would go that. Um, mm, I always go for new Corey. So I would go Hi-Fi Rush. With that, with, and then back to Devil May Cry until 4 comes out. That's what I would do if I were you. But that's very much to me and my taste. 
Um, I the fact that they just leave this dog just like lying here is so dramatic. Um, okay, let's. What I want to do. I mean, I don't know how far this donkey can walk. This is the thing. Let's have him go down the stairs. And he gets, sits on the ink thing, which is cool. I guess we might as well try to do this butt thing. What is this butt thing? Oh, no targets in valid range. Oh, okay. Well, he'll just go to sleep then. And then... I mean, might as, might as well, like... Then who is left? I guess also sleep. And then I can draw one more person. Mm. Sure, just because I have the ink for it. Like, I don't really know if there's like a reason I shouldn't be drawing more people. Um. But yeah, it's it's way too quiet of a game. I think let's just slide him over one. Because then I, what I'm thinking is if the donkey comes to that spot after the fire barrel thing, but before my like men, I can like hit him from the top probably, even though I only have five out of nine health. So I feel like I'm at risk of dying, but we'll see. What's up, Ned? How's it going? Oh, he's on a halo spot too, though. So he's like doing hella damage. Okay, let's see what he's gonna do. Oh, so he did, he had the butt thing. Like, whatever the butt thing was. Oh, no! So, like, now all of my, like, creatures can't, like, move at all. Oh, no, we're stuck here. Okay, um... I mean, I guess might as well pray, just to be unpushable also, but I guess we just have to wait. I hope they carry on and do Dead Space to the remake. You know, we were talking about that on Min Max uh, show, on the Min Max show, and Jacob Geller pointed out that one of the pre-order bonuses for Dead Space the remake was Dead Space 2. So, and he's like, I feel like that'd be weird to do if they weren't, if they were going to do Dead Space 2. Now again, financially, I feel like, oh, that'd be such a win because it seems like they can handle doing a remake of this franchise. And I hear that two is the best one. Pretty much everyone says two is the best one. So, you know, I think people would be like playing it and buying it if they did, um, if they did a two, but I don't know if they're going to. How long am I, do I have a headache for? Hmm. Well, let's just focus on this guy. He can still attack. Oh, I wanted to hit five and I messed up. We can just do... Oops. Oh, no. I didn't want to do that. I messed up. I messed up. But maybe now I can... Hold on. I don't know if that's smart or not. I didn't realize what those barrels did and how, how things would turn out. No valid targets in range. Okay. Does he have valid targets in range? I feel like this will cause him to kill himself, but maybe it's like worth it. I don't know. Oh, it didn't actually end up exploding it. Hmm. We might've just made a mess for ourselves here. Because I'm thinking that I won't be able to, like, attack from this spot. 
I don't know. I don't know. It's all, it's all a mess now. Let's just see what happens next chapter. Like it's time to wrap this up. Wrap this match up. Okay. Darn. Yeah, wrap that ink up exactly. Yeah, Chappelle show. Um, okay. I mean, I don't even know if that's like a good thing to do. Let's put another spear boy here. How is he able to hit everybody and then they always tell me my targets are not in range? Once you lose your beast, you'll be able to- Okay, so I can't- I'm kind of done now. Let's just say like, I don't know, let's just keep it moving. All right. Okay, let's see. Can this guy attack? Finally. There you go. Okay. Oh, I can buy new beasts with my ink, kind of? What is this, a cat? I'm taking the cat. I'm definitely just taking the cat. I don't even know what the cat does. Um... Hell yeah. Okay, um, how do I go back now? Just next? Okay. Um, and then I want to see... No, that's just like the hamburger. Is there a save? I'm not seeing a save. I don't know if this is meant to be like run based or something or like how it, how it, how it all goes down. Okay. Prestige allows you to choose dialogue options unavailable to puny peasants. Oh, damn, all right. Being famous has its advantages. You will now visit a non-combat location. Here you won't have to face a battle, but a decision that will affect your resources. Hover your cursor over a location to view details. Okay. Spend gold to permanently increase your starting health. Okay. Um... Hmm. Okay, so I think it's like, this kind of reminds me of, um, I forgot if there's an overarching name for this kind of system, but almost like trait-driven dialogue that you see in games like, you know, Fallout or, um, Outer Worlds, um, where it's like, okay, so I think I need like 49 prestige to be able to like do those other options or 99 prestige to do like that third option, Wilder Myth, yeah, like any of these type of titles. Um, I mean, I think I'll take the health because I'm like whack, so I feel like the health is good for me. Okay, you have reached the end of the tiny map. At the end of each map, an Inculinati master awaits. Defeating them in battle will allow you to continue your journey. First, you have to defeat me to pass the exam. Um, wish I focus on these battles. Diversity of beasts, always bring the maximum of five beasts with you. You'll soon be getting some new beasts, so plan your strategy out. Watch out for boredom. Okay. Wait, do I not like fight him? Okay, store. This is so funny. But you lose prestige doing this. Why does it say plus 25? 
Show me what you got. Okay. Mm. I don't know if I should be buying anything so early is the thing. Let's just go with what we have. Yes, yes, remember, live for today, plan for tomorrow, party tonight, that's my motto. Yo, this dude's- he's fucking about it. Like, what a banger line. Live for today, plan for tomorrow, party tonight, like, this is the kind of attitude I want to go- oh, don't- I see you th with your snide looks, Isaiah, off on the side. You said you're going to lunch? You're gonna get lunch. Can you have, um- Lunch at 5 p.m. <laughs> early dinner, late lunch. Early dinner, late lunch. Oh yeah, 5 p.m. Is that an early dinner or a late lunch? It's dunch. It's dinner lunch. It's a whole rack of ribs. No, I don't know what he's getting. Um, he is kind of like Yoda, isn't he? Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. So here we go. This is our squad. I don't know what the fuck this cat does, but I fuck with the cat. So we're gonna see how it goes. And I don't have any more people I can bring in, so it's like, all right. The early bird special. <laughs> yeah. I eat dinner, like, really early, though, sometimes. Like, I would be eating dinner right now if I wasn't streaming. Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and do this. This seems not too bad. I feel like I'm understanding stuff. Granted, I'm playing on e Oh, my gosh. It's a real job, I say. <laughs> It's so funny whenever he does that, he forgets that I'm streaming and he turns off the lights. Um, rough. It's rough out here, y'all. Okay, so boredom. Inkle naughty scribers get often bored when drawing the same beast over and over, depending on your difficulty. Each beast you draw during a journey, its boredom level will increase. The amount of living you need to draw will be based on boredom. Well, since like the next time you're heading out in the morning, you're gonna forget to wake him up. Okay, and here's the thing too with the like, some people aren't like understanding what Playboy is talking about. There was a tweet that one of my friends uh, ha had like quote tweeted, like an article they quote tweeted, and it was like, oh, I don't know what the article is fully about. I'm guessing like relationship stuff. And it was, don't wake up your partner or something like that. Let me see. Never wake up your significant other on purpose ever. And he had said, what if there's a fire? And yes, thank you for linking the tweet. Um, and I had said, Isaiah's weird in that he wants me to wake him up to say goodbye before I leave slash start my day. Even if I have to get up really early, it gets kind of sweet. Meanwhile, I'm like, please abandon me in my sleep. Like, do not wake me up. Um, and to clarify that, which I felt like I got it across in the tweet, but maybe I didn't. Like, I work from home. So it's like, even if it's like, I have, um, you know, I had a call the other day that was like, 9 a.m. I think he, he was still in bed at the time because he also works from home. Like, he wants me to be like, hey, I'm gonna go. I'm getting up now. Like, it's like, I'll be like two feet away. And he's like, yeah, just wake me up once to say that, like, you're leaving. Like, going about your day. Um, it was funny, though, in the replies, like, a lot of you were like that. So, I don't know. Let me know in the chat if you have a significant other that you live with. Are you the, like, you want to be left alone when they get up? Do you want them to, like, say bye? Like, what's your what's your deal? Nothing more harboring than reaching over your sleep um, for another and finding an empty bed. Um, see, I don't, I'm not bothered by that. Like, I know that he, like, where he went. Um, so I'm like, yeah, like, don't wake me up. Like, you know, I'm, I just, like, sp spread out more. Like, I have a, I have a grand old time. Doesn't bother me at all. What if you don't know where he went? Um, that'd be weird. That I would have beef with. I'm like, hey, why didn't you tell me where you were going? Or you never told me where you were going or whatever. Um, yeah, I should know where you're going, but like, I don't need to know that you, you've gone. At least generally, like, oh, I'm gonna do some errands, or I'm gonna wash the car, or whatever. Oh, hell yeah. Cause like, what if something happens? I'm not gonna know where the fuck you were. We're talking about um the sleep thing. And I'm like, uh, Eddie's I'm like, oh yeah, I don't care. And Eddie's like, well, what if you didn't know where he was going? I'm like, that I would care about. Like, I wanna know where you're going. Like, don't like, Oh, it's Saturday morning, and you just dipped. I mean, I probably would just assume you're washing the car or something, but I wouldn't want you to, like, not tell me where you went. Like, you're just... I'll tell you that if I can't wake you. You can send me a text message. Uh, well, if you don't see it. How am I not going to see it? I'm, all I do is stay on my phone. I know you'll know if I wake you up. 
also usually like Isaiah's not an impromptu person. Like he probably has planned this day for like three days. Um, yeah, CB in the chat says, man, teleport out of here. I never want to be woken up. Yeah, uh, same. I mean, if you wake me up by accident, I'm not like going to be mad about it. Like I get it. It's hard to get ready and be quiet, but I'm like, hey, be as quiet as you can be. Um, but yeah, that was something I had to learn because for me, I'm, I, I was always taught to like be quiet. Like in the morning, you're quiet because other people are sleeping. I would actually wake up my significant other up every day. That's rough. That's rough. Were they like a light sleeper or something? Or you just like got steel boots on? I was <laughs> like, what's happening? If you don't draw a certain beast during the battle, your boredom level will go down by one. Okay, cool. So what's, what is my boredom level is the thing? That's what I'm kind of confused on. Like, can I easily see my boredom level? Because I feel like I don't know what it is. What is this? What is this? I don't even know what this move does. Let's see. Power word. Attack up to two fields away. Single target. Deals damage to heretics. That's my only thing. I feel like I can't see what my boredom is, so... And then what does this do? I don't know what any of these moves are. Holy pause. Major blessing increase. Okay. Well, let me let me look around. So this dude way up here. Um, I feel like this master is gonna die soon too. Like, because one of the one of the options. Um, no hypothetical situation. Oh, okay. I thought you meant like. You know, maybe in the past or something like that. Um, yeah, it's hard not to wake people up. Okay. I think I'll just go up. Maybe up and then to this side. That way I can get some ink. I like how he walks. He's so fancy. Who are you drawing? What the fuck is that? I don't like that thing. Mm -mm. No, sir. Okay. I'm curious if I can l land a hit from here with this guy. Oh, he's sleeping though. I can't look anyway. I guess we haven't drawn a lot of the... the arrow guys then. Um, I wouldn't mind moving one over just to like... Just to get more, um, more ink. Okay. Chapter two. All right, I'm going to hang this. I kind of fuck with this. Like, I don't think it's, you know, I have to stop saying moving heaven and earth because I've been, that's like been my main comment for like the longest. Master's army. You should know that I can force my beast to explode. I do love the smell of explosions. I get an extra drop of living ink for it. Not only can I explode my command. They explode when someone kills them. Did I mention they explode, though? Um, the writing in, in this is actually pretty funny as well. Okay, do I not have, like... How much is the explosive range, though, is the thing. I don't know. We're just going to go for this. Okay... Oh, that one can fly, I think. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Is friendly fire on for this? Like, if I, like, do this, will... You're gross. Okay. And then... Well, then that's kind of a waste of the, um... I feel like it's kind of a waste of the fact that we stun them with that one enemy, but we could also fail, though, so let's just try it. Oh, we barely got it, actually. Okay, so it's just uh, adjacent sides. Okay, that's not bad. Um, You know, we're going to go, like, all bunnies on this, like, 
full bunny arrow army. Um, but yeah, this is like very solid. It's it's an enjoyable time. Okay, what else can we do? Let's see. We can do some of these movements. Maybe we can do. Hey, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. I guess just this guy. Like, might as well. Actually, did decent damage. Okay. What is he gonna do? You can encounter different apocalypse types in the world. What are they? Find out. Okay. Oh, scary. Okay. See, and what does this do? Major blessing? I mean, might as well, right? Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. It's like so many people here. Okay, any of these is gonna land. Do you think about <sighs> that's tough, because I there's so many games to play. I would like though here's the thing. I think I would keep playing this after stream if it has an end. Like if there's a credits roll. Cause like just for me as a player, I don't really like playing stuff indefinitely, with a few exceptions. Um, Splatoon I'll dip into, you know, just for fun. Fortnite I'll dip into just for fun. But other than that, like, I want it to be... I want to either have a definitive ending or maybe, like, have something that I can make up as the ending. But I do like it. I don't know if I... I don't know if I'll keep playing after stream. I want to say yes, but because there's so... M if there was nothing else out, I think I would. I am enjoying it, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to get back to y'all on that. Because there are games that I like even more that I end up not getting back to just based on time. So, okay, let's see what we got here. Got this little guy. Ooh, landed on a three. That was tough to do. But I'm enjoying it, honestly, more than I expected to. It seemed, like, a little bit scarily complicated when I first started. Okay, we need to get this guy moving, actually. So let's just... Let's just get him up there. He might take some damage up there, though, is the thing. Oh, but now he can hit this guy. Okay. Ooh, yay. Hell yeah. That's, that is very satisfying, I will say, mechanically. Okay, and then... Do I want to draw somebody else? I mean... I guess we'll draw this guy here. I guess we'll push him over just to like... Try to get him up there, you know? Oh my god. Jeez. That's horrifying. Okay, um, a little bit scary. A little bit scary. I mean, he's still safe there, but I kind of wish he could, like... I wouldn't mind him moving up. I think let's just have him... <sighs> let's just have him attack this guy. Okay. And then... I kind of want to start working on these people that are at risk. Hold on, hold on. So... I mean... Let's go with this guy. 
And then we'll have him attack this guy. Ugh, oh, got a two instead of a three. Yeah. Alright, um... Who else is, like, in the danger zone? Oh, hold on, it's gotta be up on these. So this guy's okay. This guy's not okay. We could get him up here. I don't think this one explodes when he dies, so I think we'll, like, move him up here. But I don't fully remember, if I'm being honest. He's got some serious range there. Okay, now... Everyone's out of the fire. I think you just take care of this guy, because, like... Let's see if he explodes. I don't think he does. I think the other one explodes. Shit, he does explode. Okay. I couldn't remember if they all exploded or not. Let's just put him all the way up here and he's gonna just immediately go to sleep. Oh yeah, and then I gotta move myself too, actually. Ooh, but I can't move very far. Oh no. Okay, I mean, like, we just gotta, like, move where we can. Wait, can I not move to this side? Oh, because I can't move left again. Okay, now I see. Well... Oh, I can't... I can't hit him either. Okay, well, we're just gonna have to go to sleep and take the L when we catch on fire, because... I mean, he got- he got on fire too, so it could be worse. Oh my god. Thank god we're almost done. Okay. I mean, what was the reason for that, but alright. Okay, cool. Boom. Yeah, I like the, the presentation a lot. Um, I think the mechanics are actually quite fun. It's very solid. It just isn't like... It doesn't have that big oomph to it. What does the name come for? I guess just the ink aspect? The boredom status. I know, the boredom status is, is quite high. Um, I haven't fully like... Oh, collect rewards. Like, I pick one or I take all, or... Maybe I only take, get to take one? I don't know. Um... This seems cool. Ooh, and then... Moving enemies with a hand action inflicts bleeding. For a friendly beast that dies. Mm. I do like inflicting bleed. Now we get to start party thanks to you. Um, party! I have to say, bloating and explosions are so satisfying. This is why I never miss a party. But hey, you get a lot of wars. It's great. Yeah, I'm also playing on easy. I don't know if that, like, changes based on, like... How far you get into it? But that's the thing, like, is there an end? Like, you know, does it save? I'm not really sure. But yeah, that was, gosh, sorry to say, Inkolanati. Um, really solid, really fun. Enjoyed my time. Would want to continue with the caveat of only if there is definitely an end would I want to do it? Um, you deserve, oh, thank you. I do, do deserve the rewards. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, but it's not like ridiculously strong. But I think it's like, a, it's very solid. I don't really have any complaints on it. So it's hard for me to like gripe too much about how, I think the only thing that I think could make it a little bit better is a little bit more of a integrated tutorial section. Um, 
and making that section a little bit more compelling because like I didn't do the extra tutorials because I didn't feel like doing them because I thought they were a little too much. So, but other than that, um, I enjoyed it. I think it was it was super solid, but it kind of ends there. Again, we're early in the year too, so we'll see. I'm looking, you know, stay on the lookout for best of 2023, um, the top games of 2023. You know, I drop those every three months on Pentapixels. So we'll see if this one, this one might end up in that, in that ranking just cause you know, it's early, it's solid, it's a contender for that. Um, so check it out if you liked what you saw, it's on Game Pass. So free to check out on Game Pass. It is still an early access game. So they are gonna be adding to it, adding beasts, things like that. It's also available on PC, but um, yeah. There you go. So next we're gonna try a space for the Unbound, but I am gonna take um, my break in between that. So let me think about how I wanna have all this go. So we'll start at, and that's the thing, I don't know if it saves, which sucks because I have no idea if it saves or not. I mean, I guess we'll just have to like, it says continue journey, so I imagine it saves. Let's just click and see, does it save? It does, okay. I wonder if there's a how long to beat yet on it, or if it can be beaten. I'll look that up over before I move on. No data yet. Um, hey, what's up, Meeks? Yeah, so I'm not sure what the rest of this looks like in that sense, but we'll find out. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and head home. And um, we're gonna go ahead and take our break. We also turn these off just to, cause I don't need to turn them off. Yeah, it's a little dramatic, but whatever. I'm gonna recalibrate things for next up, which I've been staying for a while. So I'm gonna go back to sitting uh, while we transition into our intermission. And this, this is my standing board that I have. It also came from Uplift, so it's, it's all Uplift. All Uplift all the time. Okay, let me bring my chair back in here. Um, but yeah, next up we are gonna play a space for the Unbound um, that's gonna be over on PlayStation for me, so I will be changing over consoles and things, taking my quick five minute plus or minus break. In the meantime, you can enjoy the song Shub as composed by my brother, and I will see y'all in five minutes plus or minus. Been enjoying your Like a Dragon YouTube videos. But yeah, thanks for watching them. Um, it honestly really means a lot that like so many of y'all, and by so many I mean like yeah, two or three people, cause hey, what's up Joe? Obviously not everyone's talking directly to the creators of the things that they're watching, but like a couple of you being like, hey, I really appreciate these as a way to catch up on the VODs. Like it means a lot cause it is um, a bit of work just to like get them all together. So to be like, okay, this work is meaningful. People are benefiting from it. People are enjoying it. Like it just means a lot. Um, so I appreciate you uh, letting me know. Uh, and again, we will be back in five minutes plus or minus. Let me make sure I grab my phone and hang tight.
Yo, what's up, Brave? How's it going? Okay. Yeah, just because, yeah, I'm actually shutting out the whole stream. Team chair. Uh, what is up? How's it going, y'all? Let me also just... Hold on, how do I put this like this? We get set up for our next game. Oh, excuse me. So I'm switching over to PlayStation for this one, even though, let's see, it's Space Unbound. A space Unbound. It is available on everything. Literally everything. Everything you could think of is there. Yeah, I'm going to PAX East. Are you going to go to be at PAX East? Let me know in general if any of y'all are going to PAX East. I will be there. I have um, two panels. I think only one has been like formally announced in the sense that like the people that you know, I'm not leading any of the panels. Like, I was invited by other people to join their panel. And one of them put up their little graphic. I don't think the other one has yet because I haven't gotten any, like, tags. So I don't want to announce it, like, too early. I was thinking about it. Honestly, um, I might be too late. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if there's uh, tickets left. I think Isaiah will be going, too. But now I'm wondering if there are even any tickets left. Ooh. It'd be wild if it's, like, sold out already. Let me see get yours let me look now i think they have badges still let me see four day pass i think they have stuff still i'm not sure i would see a two appointment the week before okay okay um but yeah okay let me get the playstation screen up here I'm good to go. Hold on. Yeah. Because I was like, I had to think for that. I'm like, are all these games out? These are all games that are out. Um, oh, but you know what? Did I download a Space Unbound? Let me make sure I did, actually. Because now I don't know if I did. I did. I did. Okay. 
Okay, we're good. I was like, did I not download this game? High school is ending and the world is ending with it. Man, what a premise. Let's go ahead and switch over the um, overlay colors and everything though first. So we'll kind of hang out. Uh, a space for the unbound, not a space unbound, a space for the unbound. Click, click. Okay, um, images. Let's do the key art. Oh my gosh, everything is AVIF. This one maybe? Okay, cool. Hey, Badoof hat. Thanks for the redemption. Badoof, 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 Badoof. Whew. These have like a cute little startup sound to them too. These little headphones. Ba doof -a doof -a doof. But yeah, uh, let me see how long this game is too. I'm curious now. I live on how long to beat. Ten hours. Okay, okay. Okay, coolers. I have um, the rest of my Snickers bar is somewhere here. I think it's on the other side of the desk. Okay. So let's go ahead and get this color change underway. It's kind of like a watercolory, very like lots of blues, a little bit of like a cream tone. Okay, I think this is legit. All right, so I think the blue is the big piece here. So let's go to posted overlay. Make two little windows above. Okay. Did you see The Last of Us? Two concepts will Joel and Abby are- Oh, no, I did not see that. That sounds super gross. <laughs> Just cause like, they're like really different in age, no? Like, he's like really old, like, ugh. I did not see that and I'm glad I didn't now that I've heard that it exists. <laughs> oh man, okay. Let's go to, oh, you know, a lot of stuff exists on the internet and I just feel like, damn, what if it didn't, you know? I imagine Abby was a different character in that instance, but who knows. Um, I freaking hope so. I really hope so. Jeez. Okay. Um, card. We'll do this. And then this pink color could be good for the status bar. Let's see how it all looks. Okay. I mean, you can't really read the status bar with this color, but it's not a big deal. It's just like mostly self promo. It's fine. Um,. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what setup that is, but I'm glad that I do have not come across such <laughs> such things. Okay. So I do have a Snickers bar left here. And I think I want to finish it because we got a little bit of time left here. Um, Space for the Unbound. Let's uh, read a little bit of the description again. So this is mute. Okay. A coming of age adventure where you follow two high school sweethearts, uh, already crying, on a journey of self discovery at the end of their high school years while facing the end of the world. Explore 90s, a 90s Indonesian town, uncover its secrets, use supernatural powers to dive into people's hearts, and pick cats. This sounds like a me game. Let me finish eating the Snickers bar and then we'll get started. I also realized I forgot to tweet out that I was live. So that's, that's an L. A space 
for the unbound. Yeah, it happens. I wish it was more like there was an easy way to get all this stuff going, but. Love the Bidoof hat. Yeah, it's a redemption on the stream. Um, I usually have a stuffed animal one and some other ones like, you know, my cat shows up on the stream, stuff like that. But I have paused those temporarily because I'm just getting over a, I don't know if you want to say a back injury. It's a little dramatic. I had a very stiff back like a week ago and like had to go like to the doctor for some muscle relaxers for it. This week was like active recovery week. So next week I'll probably put this back on. Also, spoilers for next week. I haven't fully decided yet, but I think Tuesday we're going to go hard as fuck on this Yakuza Like a Dragon because I got to beat this game, y'all. And I've been loving the Yakuza Like a Dragon. I'm thankful that Joe has forced me to check out this game. And in so I found like a really good ass video game. However, it's time for Yakuza to be done. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, hold on, let me see something. I feel like my headphones are not on. Yeah, I feel like my headphones are not working. Let me turn them off and turn them back on again or something. Cause I'm not like hearing anything. Hold on. And I don't think it's just the Bidoof aspect of it all. Let me see. Let me see. I just don't want to, um, I'm like hooked on what I have for the stream though. You know what I mean? Hold on. Oh, is this also, do I not have this set to, oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, I just had the volume really low on my headset. Never mind, we're all good. I was like, why can't I hear anything? It just was really low for me. So I'm like, is this is not working? That was gonna be so sad. Okay, there we go. Yeah, for you, I just grind out the... <sighs> oh man, oh, congrats on getting the taxes done. <sighs> Maybe I do need to do that. I just like, have been liking having all of it be on stream. I've gotten a bit stubborn in that sense. Also, am I not already leveled up? Like, am I not good at level 45? Actually, y'all chose the chunky game to be on stream because this is uh, which not all of you may know <clears throat> Depending on how many streams you watch of mine or whatever, but we have this um, um Section theme whatever called community community driven. Let's play is kind of what's called it doesn't have a catchy name And it's where you guys oh, thanks for the hydrate could use it with all that snickers It's where you guys kind of like I informally get what do you guys want to have me play? Now, I will say I have the caveat of if I'm eight hours into this game and I'm not feeling it, I can peace out because I don't think there's personally, maybe some people would like it, but I don't, I wouldn't want to play a game I hate just to like play it for y'all. Like, I, I don't, I don't want to do that. But I've enjoyed all the games enough, right? Varying degrees. We've done Outer Wilds, we've done Demon Souls, we were doing Yakuza Like a Dragon. I definitely will say for this next game, it cannot be long as fuck. We are not doing Persona 5. We're not doing it, you know? Maybe later. Uh, right now, I haven't decided what options I want to, like, give or where I want to, like, have things land, but... I'm thinking about doing, um, honestly, the first Kingdom Hearts game. I think it would be kind of interesting. It's not terribly long. Isaiah would get kicked out of it. He could maybe join for some stuff. See, it has to be a game I haven't tried yet. So for Returnal... I already played Returnal. Um, again, it's kind of like, do I like survival horror? I will say most, I haven't played most JRPGs, so I, I won't say yes, but I've played some. Um, Inca Lunati, super solid, worth checking out. 
It takes a second to wrap your head around the tutorials. The tutorials, I think, are the weakest part of the game, but it's got style. It's got some good writing. Like, not a love for me. But I was like, oh, yeah, that's cool. Worth it. Chain Echoes is too long. Kingdom Hearts Jesus was the weirdest bit off. Because um, what, Xenoblade or whatever, right? No Xenoblade. We can't, we can't do a big, big RPG JRPG. We need at least one shorter game in between. Is it long? Is it actually long? I thought it was short. The first one? I want to look at Isn't it like... How long is this game? Oh, it is long. Why is it 28 and a half hours? Why is it 28 and a half hours? That's too long. You're right. Maybe not. 28, though, is like... It's not short, you know? And 20 and a half on how long it be? You know, that's 40 for me. Um, Test Stranding, that's also a long game. That's also a long game, so I don't, I don't think I want to do that one, but... And you can't keep the, skip the cutscenes when you die in a boss fight. Um, we don't need to be, like, ridiculously short, but just, like, a little bit more of a normal length of a game. Let me see if I have, um... Excuse me. Whew. Let me see if I have notes from, um... Let me change the category to from what the potential games kind of were. Hold on, I can't see any of these. The space for the end, but there we go. Gives you a runner-up. The answer is in your heart. You know what you need to play. I don't, I don't even know what you're alluding to, honestly. Let's see. Twitch thoughts, Baskin Robbins flavors. I was spending some time. Tinykin. Oh, yeah, but I already played that. I know I love Tinykin. I do need to be it, though. You're not wrong. Um, Twitch thoughts? No. It's not that one. Let me just look up stream. I feel like I had some stuff in my notes app. Stream plans? No, it's not that either. Hey, I am uh, I am the dude. Thank you for the gifted to future warm. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Community games? Next community game. Here we go. Okay. This is what you guys had. And I kind of go based on like either one passionate person or a couple people being like, yeah, I'd like that. Um, great ace attorney. And then so I wrote not Phoenix Wright, which I don't know what that means. <laughs> but that's what I wrote. Um, Final Fantasy 14 online, like a taste of it. But that one's kind of awkward because it's like, you you know, it's like it doesn't, again, doesn't have as much structure to it. Sly Cooper. That's a little bit cheating because I have started that game and I enjoyed it, but. A lot of reading, though. Um, Spiritfarer was on there. I feel like that's kind of long. Witcher 3, that's too long. <laughs> Dishonored? I think Dishonored could be a really cool one. Again, lightly cheating because I did start that game. I just never finished it. Mass Effect's also kind of in that. It's also too long. Uh, Pew had Prey. I haven't wanted to play Prey and I've never played Prey. Bioshock, I've never finished it. Again, kept starting it. Probably, this is probably my fourth time starting it. Um, people had Divinity Original Sin 2. I think that's probably too long, right? Prey is good. Bioshock is good. I'm Leon Prey. Bioshock. Divinity Original Sin 2 is way too long. Yeah, what, I don't even remember what that is. Divinity Original Sin is like a name I've heard my whole life. And I like don't, I have no idea what the fuck it is. Like I couldn't tell you. It's a CRPG. Yeah, it's 60 hours. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, one day. It's so long. One day. Okay. We're almost ready. Thank you for waiting. I just wanted to finish the Snickers bar. To have a little snack. Well, actually, let's just hit play because there could be like a cutscene at the beginning or something. So let's, let's j dive into it.
Damn, the warning at the beginning? All right, let's go. Rip my heart out. Okay, um, I like the little border, very cute. Hey, thanks for the bits. I appreciate them. <sighs> All right. Yeah, Tales of Rise is definitely too long, but I have heard good things about that. I've never played a Tales game. I fucking love this art. Let's go. Also, I just realized I forgot to ask y'all about the levels or check in on my levels. I think this is... Let's a I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. All right. I brought it down a little bit. Uh, I'm bringing a little more. All right, let me know how this is. Undertale, boom. I already I beat Undertale already. I played it um a while ago. It was a cool, which, which honestly I feel like Undertale didn't get a fair shot from me because I played it first run trying to do pacifist run and it was just like a mess. Um. Oh, I think we've been thinking of so yeah, this is, uh, it's Hot in the Streets from, I gotta shout out Rebecca. Let me get the handles on here. It's like Duck Valentine or something. Rebecca Valentine, IGN, at Duck Valentine. She had tweeted about it and I was like, yo, what's up? And then Michael, um, at Michael Hin Hinyam? I actually don't know how to pronounce this name, I just realized. Um, he was like, it's Hot in the Streets. And I was like, hi, um, yeah. I think I've heard, I feel like I've heard his name before, but I'm like, Michael, I'm like, how do I, how do I read this last name? Um, Michael Hyam, Rebecca Valentine, they were like, this shit's hot. And I was like, fuck yeah. Okay, they didn't say that this shit's hot, but they, it was, that was the undertone, right? Um, but yeah, I was like, okay, bet. If anyone I follow, when they're fucking with games, I'm like, let me check it out. Especially when it's a game like this that like, I hadn't heard much about. Uh, well, we're, good news, we're gonna see what the gameplay is right now. Meow, princess. Meow looks sick. Mew looks sick. Reb, good game. Michael, shit's fire. Uh, are Mew okay? The cat meow. This is a lot of text. It's like a lot of inversions and stuff. The princess looked up to the nice guy and thought, it's time to say goodbye, to leave the world behind. Oh no. That art is adorable. What's up, Nano? I have something for you, my dearest friend, a parting gift. I'll show you my last miracle. Something shone brightly in the palm of her hand. It was the miracle. The cat was stunned in awe, but it cried too. Oh, meow, princess, please don't. I can't let Mew go, the cat meowed. Meow. The princess just smiled and stared into the cat's teary eyes. Everyone wanted my miracles, but you're the only one who stayed by my side. Thank you for being my friend. <laughs> oh. Snap, I can't. Me neither. It was a warm, bright night. The glowing South Star Princess turned into a stardust and was scattered to the skies above. Her light stayed within a pretty yellow flower. Left behind and alone, the cat hugged the flower to itself. Oh, Princess, the world doesn't deserve you. I know. So? What do you think, Mr. Co-Rider? It was great. Your story was touching, and I can't wait to listen to the rest of it. The world, the adventure, and the characters. I love them all. But the princess, I love her the most. Oh, phew. Gl I'm glad you liked it. I was kind of worried and not really confident about it all. At first, I was going to make the princess turn into a comet when she passed away. Then she would have destroyed the planet and devoured all the creatures that stole her miracles. But that would be a brutal way to, to end the story. So I decided to scrap that. Yeah, I think that's too violent. and doesn't fit in at all. By the way, where did you get the idea for the comet? Well, it was last night. I was really worried and upset. I cast my eye to the sky for inspiration, and a comet flashes suddenly across the horizons, burning bright through the pitch dark night. Oh, jeez. I wish I was awake last night. Um, I... So, it is... Which genre does it count itself as? I think it's an adventure game. This is a genre scene. Adventure indie? I think there's a little bit more than the visual novel kind of aspect from the screenshots I've seen, but I don't know. Um, but still, I can't believe it. Ends like this. What a sad fate for the South Star Princess. Do you want to hear the final chapter? Final chapter? There's more of it? 
Um, no, I still have it. It's a uh, character voice redemption or whatever. <coughs> Any Mario character. Yeah, it'll be more like an epilogue, but we can think of it as a final chapter. I want to tell a story about the cat's final adventure. The cat will, um, the yellow flower, they are about to, uh, huh, weird. Hmm, what's wrong? All of a sudden, I can't think of anything. My mind's gone blank. It was on the tip of my tongue. Hey, why don't we go out and get some fresh air? It may help you clear your mind. Hmm, okay. The walk is slow. Oh, but we can't, like... I can't, like, say anything. Oh. Oh, I can! Like you said, uh, let's go outside for some fresh air. We just have to really check that all we can do is go- Let me know, is the music too loud? Because it's kind of loud. But I don't know if it's too loud. I think maybe it could turn down a little bit. Right? Let me know in the chat if you think I should turn it down a little bit. How about now? Feeling better? Um, I don't know. Sounds alright over here. Turn down. Oh my god. Maybe just a smidge. <laughs> yeah, let's do s Give me this. I'm trying to- oh. Alright, that was a little bit. What happened? Do you have writer's block? I don't know. It feels scary to think about. Dark and scary. It's so scary that I haven't been able to figure out what kind of story I want to tell. Yep, that's writer's block, all right. Hey, maybe it's time to use the magic red book. The magic red what? The magic red book, have you forgotten about it? The book which contains the spell to dive into people's hearts, rhythm of their inner turmoil. Oh yeah, the magic red book, of course. Also, wait, I wore this for way too long. Um, or did I? Yeah, 21 minutes ago, okay. I just got so used to having the Bidoof hat on. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it comes in handy now and again. Where is it? Um, I forgot where I put it. I'm sorry I'm so careless. Hey, no worries. I'll help you look for the magic red book. I might have left it around here. Keep your eye for something red. Okay, I'm on it. What is this? Why would someone put a page from a video game magazine here? It says, double tap left or right to run. A class tutorial. Wonder what game it's for. Oh, hell yeah! Now we're moving! Now we're moving! Hey, where are you going? Help me find the magic red book, will you? Oh, hell yeah. I'm so glad that you can run, because you just walk a little too slow. Art very good. I found a red book. This must be the magic book. I got the magic book. Do, 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 do. Oh, wait. Oh, now let me go back to her. Hey, is this what you're looking for? The magic red book, you found it. Go on then, try to use the book. But I'm afraid of using it by myself. Oh, you. Can you help me, bountiful, magical, mystical co writer? Please, 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 please. Whoa, calm down. Okay, I'll help. Just tell me how to use it. I don't remember. When you see it, uh, you just have to open the book. See it? See what? You'll see a dancing flower above someone's head. A dancing flower, huh? Yeah, believe me, that's the power of the magic red book. Then you just open the book. Is that it? No dancing or chanting required? That's it. Hurry up and try it already. Alright, we're doing this to get rid of whatever it is that scared you off or whatever, and to find the final chapter of the story I want to tell. Hmm. I'm scared. So basically, it's like fucking, um... Stranger Things vibes, you know? Like, you go into, like, people's minds and shit. Too scared to think about the final chapter and what I might find. I'm afraid to find out what lies beneath. What if it turns out bad? Everyone will think I'm a weirdo. Just think. I've never finished anything before. This final chapter 
Will I ever be able to finish it? Damn, that's real. That's a weird looking door. I need a key to open it. Oh. I picked up a key. I wonder where it opens. Probably the door. Freak! That's the stupidest thing I've read in my entire life. My one-year-old could write something better. Fantastical nonsense. It's disgusting waste of time. It's a waste of ink and paper. Delusional. You should have focused on your roids, little girl. She locked herself away to write this garbage? Oh my, what a mess. Poor thing. It was a warm, bright night. The glowing South Star Princess turned into stardust and was scattered to the skies above. But her light star stayed within the pretty flower. Pretty little flower or whatever, yeah. I have an idea. It could be useful. The story. I'm still afraid, but... This- why am I getting turn emotion? Yeah, it definitely has that vibe, right? Um, I'm still afraid, but this- should I- should I tell the story? Can I finish it? Yes, this is it! The art is so good! Well, I just realized how far we've walked. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? It is. Feels like I'm walking in outer space, kind of. Like, an outer body experience. You know what? We should come up with a cool name for the- when we use the Magic Red Book. I think Space Dive sounds cool. What do you think? Space Dive? Yeah, that sounds cool and informative. Yeah, you dive into the space of my heart. Space Dive. So, did the Space Dive actually help? Yes, I finally decided what the final chapter will be. Oh wow, cool. For real? Yes, it's the Big Blue Star. The Big Blue Star? Yes, the Big Blue Star. It called her. When the South Star Princess died, her final wish was to go back there, to the place where she belongs. And the cat will be the one to escort her back? Exactly. Oh wow, that sounds like it'll be an exciting adventure to draw and write. Mr. Co Writer's insight is, as always, extremely helpful. I recently finished this game. Really enjoyed it. Nice. Now don't mention it. You're free. You're the one who came up with the prin Star Princess' story in the first place. Well, I had to. This is our story we made together, right? If you say so, well... Hooray! Hooray! To the final chapter. Yes, the final chapter. Is there anything else we need to finish the story? Um, yeah, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, we need a spaceship. Whoa, spaceship? Yes, in the end, the Star of Princess and the Cat will explore the spaces together with a new spaceship. And the good news is, I've already built the ship myself. What? When did you... Can I see it? Where is it? <laughs> I've been working on it after school for the last three weeks. I was going to surprise you. Of course, I built it in my secret workshop across the river. You wouldn't find, so you wouldn't find it or something. You cross the river by yourself? That's too dangerous. Oh, don't worry about it. I've been back and forth loads of times. And look, I'm still here, aren't I? Anyway, I need something important to finish the ship. Something with the magical power to propel it through space. And that thing is the Star Princess's magic wand, of course, but I left it at home. Oh, well, that sucks. Should we go pick it up? No, no, no. I can't go there right now. My house is not good right now. My father, he's... Hey, don't worry about it. The magic wand is in your room, right? I'll go get it. Are you sure? I mean, you've done so much already. And if someone sees you, they might think you're breaking in. No worries. I'm stealthy like a cat, you know? I'm sorry for making you do this. Seriously, don't worry about it. I'll help you as much as I can, but you have to promise me you won't cross the river by yourself. We started this together and we will finish it together. Why does it already feel at like the end of the game, but we like just started the game? It's kind of interesting. Yeah, you're right. I promise I'll be waiting for you. Do you remember where my bedroom is? It's on the second floor. The magic wand should be somewhere on my table. Whoa, one more thing. If you get lost, my cat, Bosque, will always be there to help with some shit. Meow. Copy that. Good luck. I'll be waiting for you here. You should wait for me at base camp. It's not safe here to wander around. Hmm, I guess you're right, but the air is so nice and fresh here. Might give me some inspiration for the final chapter. All right, just be quick, okay? Okay. Oh, and one last thing. 
You said it already, you know? Don't worry, I'll be back before you know it. No, it's not it. I want to say something else. What's up? Thank you for everything. You're the best car rider I've ever had. Aw, no need to be so melodramatic now. I'll be back soon. Yeah. Yay! We were playing now, originally released free standalone prologue chapter before the game release, so it kind of feels like the complete thing, but it still leads into the game properly. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Oh, this is like where I came from. Never mind. Yay. Hehe. <laughs> Cats. Hey, it's loud, dude. The traffic's bad enough as it is. You want me to hit you your face? Wait, you want me to hit your fancy car, huh? Okay. Oh. Let's see if there's anything on the other side. No, okay. Freshly fried simul, hot and fresh. Delicious simul? Simul? I don't know. I'm gonna say there's something more attention grabbing. I have a spoonful of that hot sauce. Psh, just one? Give me two spoonfuls. I like it spicy. But that's tomato ketchup. It looks like hot sauce. That still counts, right? I like it spicy. Let's go. Behold, the great comet of doom has torn up the sky. The stars are dying. The sky is falling. Oh, wandering soul. Did you see last night's news? The Comet of Doom has finally come. Don't you want salvation, my dear child? For only one million rupai, you could own this spirit-infused gemstone made from the meteorite. It's a holy talisman that will save you from the cataclysm. What, you don't believe me? How dare you? This gemstone was crafted by, uh, ahem, the famous oracle, Jabba himself. What? You haven't got any money? Well, I guess it's your destiny to be cursed then. Actually, that line's kind of funny. I want to screenshot it. Where'd that brat go? He still hasn't done his homework. Sup, dude? What do you think? Huh? What? I'm sorry. About this current cog, Curon cog beat. It's a mix up I record myself. So, what do you think? Uh, yeah, cool. Totally awesome, dude. I know, right? And everybody appreciates it, especially these days. It's an old music genre, brought over by the Colonials and then perfected by the lo us locals. It's soothing, you know? Perfect accompaniment for people who looking to relax and escape the world for a while. Hey, you know what? You can take my demo tape. Oh, no, you don't have to. Please, dude, it's such a rare occasion meeting a fellow whatever music fan, you know? 
Besides, I can always make another mixtape whenever I want to. Thank you very much, I guess. I received the cassette tape. I don't really understand the music, though. Where is this girl's house at? It's so far away. Oh, what's up with this ladder? It was on the ladder. Ladder is property of the Civil Defense Department. In today's news, another interstellar comet was sighted flying. In today's news, another interstellar comet was sighted flying over the city. It's the third comet spotted this week. Neither the government nor the National Space Agency have released an official statement regarding these peculiar events. Huh, looks like the world's gonna end soon, huh? Lucky me, I'm already married. <laughs> what the fuck? It took me a second on whether that was up or down. Her house should be on this block. Oh, somebody's here. Hello, Miss Dewey. Are you going to the meeting too? Uh, why don't we walk there together? Of course. Oh, you're not bringing your daughter with you? No. What's the matter? Is there something wrong? My daughter, lately she's been afraid of going to school. And my husband, well, things aren't going well with his boss. He's been a little stressed lately. Well, over the money we've had to borrow to get Nirmala into school. And he's taking it all out of Nirmala. Oh. <laughs> Sob. Uh, today she locked herself in her room and refused to talk to us. God, I really don't know what to do. Oh my, I'm so sorry to hear that. Why is she scared of going to school? I don't know yet. I want to talk to them about it, all of this, but I really don't know what to say. Well, don't we go to the meeting a little or Well, why don't we go to the meeting a little early and we can talk about it on the way? Yes, yes, that's a good idea. Thank you. Don't worry, you can share your problems with me. That's what neighbors are for, right? Okay. They're gone. Now's my chance. This must be our house. The gate is locked, but her father is luckily inside. It'll be dangerous to go to the front door. It would be easier if I pretended I was here to visit her, but I can't risk letting her father know that she sneaked out of the house. Besides, he'd think I was the cr a creepy high school student stalking an underage kid. This is all too risky, but I have to get that magic wand for her. Wish I do. Meow. Meow. Hey, how long have you been up there? Oh yeah, the window on the second floor must lead directly to her room. Got that from Meow? Now how- Oh, the ladder! Hey kid, what are you doing with my ladder? Uh, I was just amazed by your ladder, so this ladder looks so sturdy and chrome. You been smoking something funny, kid? Hope you don't cause any trouble. Nobody touches my ladder. Can't you see that I'm already busy enough? I wish I'd get some sleep, though. Ah, the magic red book. Probably the tape. Is that tape, I'm guessing? Let's dive into his mind. See what's going on inside his brain and his soul and see what is up now. Bring. Oh, the flower is blooming. I wonder what happens if I made all the, all the rest bloom. So sleepy. Staying awake to see the comet last night really took it out of me. I've been staying awake just keeping busy, but now all I want to do is sleep forever, but I can't fall asleep just yet. Not without shutting off that loud ringing noise. Not without turning off those damn bright lights. And of course, not without listening to my favorite hero music to de stress. All I want to do is sleep. Found a baton. Should I resort to violets? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh 
Oh, <laughs> I won't turn off, so. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, pretty simple, but it's also the first one, so. This feels good. I'm gonna close my eyes for a minute. It can't hurt, right? Mm, he's going to Kirby's Dreamland. I want to sleep already. Thanks for the magic red book, I guess. He won't mind if I bought this ladder with you. Time to get that magic wand. Making my way downtown, walking fast, stealing ladders, and I'm going to this one girl's home. Oh, here it goes. Bro, this ladder is like two feet off the ground. How? How? Okay, whatever. Suspension of disbelief, I guess. Shoot, what did she say it would be? The wand, I still can't believe how she manages to imagine all these wonderful things. Thanks for the follow. What a creative, precious kid. I've got the magic wand. Oh man, I'm fucking scared. I'm fucking scared, brat. Open the door, you ungrateful kid! How dare you lock the door! You're skipping school again, aren't you? Open the freaking door! You're still doodling and writing that stupid nonsense! Have you got any idea how much money I had to borrow just to get you into a decent school? And this is how you repay me, you spoiled brat! Oh snap, things are getting tense around here. I'd better get out of here before he smashes this door open. Yeah man, month will run, bitch! Like, let's go! It's starting to rain. Nirmala should be waiting for me at base camp. Yo, he gonna slip off this roof, bust his neck open, like... Or bust his head open. Snap his neck, I guess, right? Okay, grab the ladder, though. B what the fuck? Okay, oh. I understand now, yeah. So, I can't take this ladder with me? I just gotta... That kinda sucks, but... Oh, let's read this. Let's read this. All right. I let the sound design work. It's a little over the top with how like sploshed all this, the water sounds are, and it's like the same sound. But I feel like in a game like this, it kind of works for it. The rain's getting heavier, and I feel bad about this. Hope we've reached base camp by now. Oh snap! Are we gonna fight this? Uh, well, there's, I'm playing too much Yakuza, where I'm like, are we gonna fight this right now? Oh, can I talk to this person? I think it's a little much even for this kind of game, actually. The sploosh, 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 sploosh. It's a bit over the top. The rain sound is nice, though, even though, again, consistent rain sound, but I get it. Hey, you got galoshes on, or what's going on here? Yo, I'm scared she's gonna be just not there. Oh, where the- where the hell is base camp at? Wait, is base camp this place? Where is she? She's not here yet. Help! Huh? Someone, anyone, help! Help, somebody! That voice, don't tell me. Wait, what? Thunder's a nice touch. Wait, what? Okay, hold on. Hmm. Oh, now I can go this way. Okay. There we go. Oh, 
Help, help, I can't swim. Oh my god. Help me, I can't swim. Damn, I can't swim either. <laughs> Damn. I have to find something to reach you. Just get here quickly, please. I don't think I can hold on much longer. I'm scared. Here, try grabbing this. Ah! Yo, is this... I'm stressed. Ah! Nah, man. Y'all... Y'all wild for this. They really- are they gonna kill this girl? We've been playing for like 10 minutes. Oh no, she's- she's good, she's good. Sorry, I was started by the thunder, don't worry. I'll get you out of there, hold on. Alright, try to grab the book. Ugh. Easy, easy, just a little bit. I'm... I'm gonna get you. We'll make it together. Nah, man. This dude's definitely dead. I have. We have. A story to Damn! <laughs> That's the intro credits? That's wild. Some pretty good music in this too. Prologue. Atma and... Trophy Hunter! Do you want to save? Yes, I want to save, but I also want to change these colors real quick. To fit the game better. Hold on. There we go. Whew. Yes. Is it Atma or Atma? Atma, Atma, hey. Wake up, you lazy bum. Damn. Ugh. Where, where am I? At school, silly. School, why am I? Don't tell me you slept so deeply, you, you lost your memories. Emma, you still remember who you are, right? You, who are you, really? Are you lens it's just because I didn't give you my snack at recess? I'm not. It's Raya, you sleepyhead. Look at you, forgetting your girlfriend's name right after you've opened your eyes. Never do that again, or I'll get real mad at you. Yes, ma'am. Girlfriend, huh? I'm still so drowsy. That was a really wild dream. What time is it? Class is already over. You were having a really good sleep. Was I? I'm so tired. It doesn't feel like sleep at all. What happened? I had this weird dream. It's haunting me. 
Weird dream. I hope I wasn't in it. Actually, you were. Your face filled the entire sky. And you had this awful, creepy smile. What is that supposed to mean? Beats me. Huh, I spent the whole day taking notes in class for you and you call me creepy? That's very rude, you know. You been taking notes for me? Of course, here. Well, it's so nice of you. Thank you, Raya. What would you do without me, huh? <coughs> Raya! Mr. Ogong? Mr. A? I'm not sure how to say. Can I help you? You still haven't done your future plan consultation. Oh, right. I'm sorry, sir. Come to the staff room as soon as possible. A mod student like yourself shouldn't miss an opportunity to prepare for the future. Right. You haven't done either, have you, Atma? Haven't what? Huh. <sighs> Just make sure you two fill out this form. I'll wait for you in the staff room. We'll do, sir. Hey, what is that? What is what? Um. Why didn't you attend the? Oh, it must be easy for you, right? Sorry, I said you're a model student after all. No, it's not easy, and don't judge. You haven't attended a consultation either. I didn't know there was one. I don't remember. Because of your weird dreams? Probably. Oh, poor thing. It does look exhausting. What about you? I haven't decided on anything yet. I'm confused. I don't like it when adults involve themselves in my future. Yeah, me neither. They just want to make us into one of them. I want to choose my future. Not one the adults would find acceptable or beneficial. The future you're still confused about? Yeah. Huh. I don't feel like doing it right now. Then what should I do with this form? Yeah, me too. Hmm, let's see. What if we change this into... This. Alright, it's epic bucket list. That's so cute! Bucket list? Yes. Write down anything you want to do, even if it's silly. It's planning for the future, right? What should I write? Whatever comes to mind. Hmm. Let me write something first, then. Watch a movie. What movie should we watch? It doesn't matter, as long as we go together. Oh! It's a date, then. You bet. It's your turn. What do you want to do? Plot the fluffiest animal known to man. What is the fluffiest animal? I'm not sure. Maybe I need to pet all the animals in town to find the fluffiest one. Legend says the Fluffosaurus is still roams the streets. I think you spend too much time daydreaming. It's your turn next. I have a pet cat. You like cats, huh? Their fur, their purr, their tiny paws. Cats are the best. I can purr too if you want. Whoa! I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Write your next one. Collect 20 bottle caps. I'm guessing this is gonna be like our itinerary. This is cute. Um, only 20? That's not many. Unless maybe they're unique ones. I used to have a collection of my favorite bottle caps. That's cool. Do y'all collect anything? Like, especially stuff that's like more casual like that. Not like, oh, you know, a collectible or like vinyl or something like that. Like a mundane collection. Um, I used to keep some bottle caps from like beers I've had. I've lost them and I wanted to start. I kept them in a jar and the jar smelled like super hoppy. <laughs> Just smelled like a bunch of beer. Are they valuable? Well, they're, how can I put it? Sentimental. Over to you. Want to write something else? Hmm. Something delicious. You're craving something? Yes, kind of. I want to... Eat an entire Black Forest Gatow? Entirely, entirely. A big one? The biggest one. It's a rich cake. Typically, one containing layers of fruit. Let me look at the presentation. Gatow. 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 So there's Black Forest Gatow. Oh my god, it looks good as fuck. Like, 
Y'all need to see what this fucking cake looks like. Because this shit is like... I want to eat this now as well. Um... Let me see what makes sense. Okay. Let me do... I think this will be fine. Hey, oi boy, thanks for the sub. I appreciate it. Okay, let me show y'all real quick. This is the cake. Like, this cake is like, when I think of what a cake is, this is what I picture, this cake, this kind of cake. This shit looks so good. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm sorry, does this cake not look good? Look at this cake. Are you playing Dead Space? You, you trying to catch up to where I'm at? You want to go into dead space together? Chocolate cherry combo. Oof. Not into chocolate cherry. I could see. Well, it's like they're both kind of harsh. In turn, in some ways, but I, I, yeah, that looks that looks great to me. I would love to like get into baking and just bake like cakes, but I don't know. Like baking, you always bake such a large amount, and then you have to eat your mistakes. Like it's kind of rough. Like me and Isaiah tried to make um, homemade cosmic brownies, and they were like really bitter. Like, the chocolate was, like, too bitter. And they were really thick. They were, like... Huge. <laughs> Alright, um... These are cute. Ooh. Let's call it the lighter, because I don't want to beat the future fighter thing. I'm guessing these things we're going to have to do in the game. Oh, that bubblegum brand, right? Each chapter contains the letter of the word Yaman, right? Are you that keen to collect them? They say if you gather our letters, you get a grand prize. What's the grand prize? A bike. Can you ride a bike? No. I mean, the thrill is in collecting the letters. If you say so. What's next, Raya? Throw a party. What sort of party? Not sure, but we're gonna have so much fun. You can do one next. Listen to music and ball my eyes out. Huh, I didn't realize you would enjoy crying or something. It's not all about the crying. It's about listening to music and reading a book and feeling something so strong that it moves you. Have you ever felt something like that before? I haven't been moved by reading or listening to something in a while, actually. What's next? Bright lights dancing in the dark? Aren't they romantic? Yeah, I love the smell when they burn. Now your turn. No, I don't want to do it! Future Fighter? Yeah, it's my favorite arcade game. It's notoriously hard to beat the high score. Good luck with that, hero. Is there anything else to add to our bucket list? I can't think of anything special. Special, hmm. How about we make one last... Make the last one on the list something like this. Find some precious treasure. What treasure? It's mysterious. That's what makes it special. It would be great if we could present this list for the future consultation. Why the long face? Well, we're almost done with high school. It feels like when high school ends, the whole world might go with it. Ugh, I don't want to think about this stupid consultation thing. What about, how about we do something from the list right now? Now is in right now? Yeah, it'll be fun, come on. For your girlfriend, please. Okay, what do you want to do? It's been a while since we went to the movies together. Yes, let's skip the future consultation. Skip school? Mr. A just said you were a model student. I'm a model student, not a slave. I want to skip school once in a while. Well, if you say so. Come on, I'm looking forward to skipping the consultation session. You skip classes now and then. How do you do this class giving thing? First, by not announcing it loudly. <gasps> okay, now what? Grab your bag, we're out of here. We're gonna walk straight out? Yes, be confident about it. Okay. Don't let the teacher see- Okay. Hey, wait for me! The shelf is clean, but the desk is full of little drawings of snails. Just realized this is something- I just realized something we showcase. The world- the word? Empalagosco came to mind, and I realized I don't know what is in English. Ooh, let me look that up now. I have stuff like that. Like, I don't know how to say what comal is in English. Cloying? I'm probably go to school. It says cloying. That can't be, that can't be right. Is that right? Doesn't seem right. 
Um, and see, like, Gormal translates to griddle, but it's not really a griddle because it doesn't have, like, like, the wavy bumps on it. Let's play sleep at school. A clean desk, books neatly arranged, and a bottle of mineral water. That's right for you. Is that a cat plushie? I looked it up too, and I didn't even know that was what a word meant. Gomal's a pan now. Um, it's like a, I mean, a pan by definition, doesn't a pan have like ridges though? It has barely any ridges. It's more of like, it's like a, it's like a flat pan. I mean, people do call it a griddle, it seems. It's like an, a flat, non-stick griddle thing. But it doesn't have ridges, it's just like flat. It's like for, if you're not making tortillas on it, you might make grilled cheese on it. Hey, it's a limited edition fizzy drink. Darn it, it's empty. Griddle is weird, yeah. Some notebooks and a uh, sun block. You can block the sun, umbrella in a bottle. Ooh, nifty gifty. Cola, cola, World Cup edition, very sporty looking. The school gate is on the other side. Raya couldn't possibly have gone this way. Where did Raya go? She's surprisingly fast. Ouch. Oh, what the? Uh. Crap, I crashed into somebody. I'm sorry, are you hurt? I'm... I'm fine, thank you. Are you okay? Fine. Oh, look, you dropped your book, huh? Oh, is it the red book? The magic red book? This isn't my book. Huh, oh, strange. It's not mine either. Wait, somehow I feel like I've seen this book before. What do you mean? Was it in my dream? I'm not sure. Your name is on the cover. What? Adma, that's you, right? Yeah, but how... Are you sure it's not yours? Let's see. If I remember correctly, I only brought my clothes, I'm wearing my glasses, and my hairband. I didn't bring any books. All of mine are still in the library. Maybe you borrowed this note from your friend? Nonsense. All my friends already went home, and I never borrow notes because I always write my own during class. Saying you don't own this book is an interesting statement. The book is objectively a real object and has your full name on it, but you don't believe you own it? Maybe you have short-term memory loss. It's usually caused by a violent impact to the head. But I was walking from the schoolyard to the library at moderate speed. Crashing into a girl much weaker than you wouldn't cause you any head trauma. If it's not memory loss, you're either delusional or you're lying. I... I'm sorry, sometimes I talk too much. You don't say. All I'm saying is the most plausible situation is that you own the book, even though you don't remember it. So, fresh for all the action streams I see on Twitch. Oh yeah, thanks for stopping by. Um, yeah, we do we do a bit of everything here. Wait, you know my name? We're in the same class, don't you remember? Huh, really? You always fall asleep. The fact that you don't know me isn't surprising. Still, rather rude. This girl. She's looking down on me? Nonsense, I know who you are. Um, classmate, hey, you. You don't know, do you? No, I don't. Sorry, may I know your name? My name is Marin. Tatma, I know that. Well, I've got to go. Take care of your book. It's not my... Oh, well, I mean, sure. I like the background noise they have here. What is this thing? I don't remember seeing what's written inside my dream. A little peek won't hurt, I guess. Won't hurt anybody. Objectives. You know, this book must be a determined person, unlike me. Oh, well, this is a good place to keep the bucket list I made with Raya. I feel motivated already. Oh, and a map. Someone drew a map of the Locust City. It looks neat, too. Inventory. May I write down what I have in my possession since I'm a little forgetful? A list of collectibles, huh? 
And I can stick photographs next to them. Now the question is, does this have a platinum? We'll look at that later. Tails, huh? There's a lot of missing pages in this section. The pages have been torn out. I don't know whether Merrin was right or not. Maybe it had something to do with my anime dream I had. I guess it doesn't hurt to keep the notebook around. I could even use the power in my dream with this. Lame joke. This is real life after all. Here's not what paint to not cross. Hmm. Interesting. Has she left already? How dare you try to skip afternoon class? Crap. No, no, we're not. We just, you know, going to the toys, sir. Yes, uh, Mr. A, and I'm looking for snacks. You all know why you have to attend the afternoon class, don't you? For your own good. But other kids skipped it too. Sh you moron. And you let them leave? You're all still young. Have you even thought about your future? Might be if you spend your youth like this. Do you know who else likes to skip class classes? Corporate officials. Or corrupt officials. <laughs> uh, you want to end up as embezzlers? Go to jail and disappoint your parents. Afternoon classes are just glorified detention. I can hear you. Yeek. Well, I can't leave school through that gate. Hearing Mr. Onk. Hey, the Badoof hat. What's up, means? Wailing like a banshee is enough to drive ever anyone away. I should find another way. Badoof. The Badoof hat. The Badoof hat. Hope you're enjoying this. Yeah, it's going it's going well so far. It's cute, it's cozy. Um oh, now he's waterfall. <laughs> Have we ever met Kitty Cat? Husky. Hey, Husky, who's a good kitty? Oh, he names them. So cute. Hmm. Did you hear that the librarian removed all the comic books from the library? What a party pooper. Comic books are literature, too. It's locked. Oh no. Your kids these days don't care about their future. Where is that Emma? He won't escape, not this time. Why are the teachers looking for me? I have to be careful. If I'm careful, I could sneak past the teachers behind this wall. It's worth a try. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Oh my god. I really like when games have stuff like this. Like these little like tiny mechanics. Visible behind this thing now. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Jeez. I feel like I'm so visible right here. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's looking right at me. <laughs> I feel about ice cream cake all the time. 
when you're sick of the sweetness or know that you'll be sick of it just by looking at it. Yeah, ice cream cake, like, that was, like, really dope when I was younger, but, like, now, now that I'm older, I just feel like it's a bad version of both things. Oh, shoot. Is this another teacher? This is adorable. I'm not sure how strict it is on, like, getting caught. Like, on how, like, much I can get away with versus not. Or if I'm like, am I safe at this point? Like, I'm not really sure, like... Hey! Hey, wanna join our club? What club? Well... <laughs> no mountain is too tall. No cliff is too steep to stop our adventure. We are the hiking club. Not if I have to do SPL every time I meet somebody. Haha, <laughs> you're the shy- you're a shy one, I see. No need to be shy about loving, uh, mountains and nature. Yeah, sure. If only you could see us in action, we would entice you with the very art of the climb. Why can't I...? You can show me right now. It's the new guy. He's keeping- he, he's missing our practice. To sleep of all things. He has all our climbing equipment. It's a disaster. I told you it was a bad idea to give the guy, the new guy, inventory duty. Too tall to climb over. Must be some way to climb it. Oh, I had some tools. Cool. I've never seen you before. You're fluffy as always, Dio. <laughs> hmm. Well, now I'm not sure. I mean, do I have to find then the climbing guy? I mean, I assume so. Let's see, it said new objective. Find a way to climb the wall. Well, I can't interact with any of this stuff, so I must have to go back. I mean, some of the teachers were gone this time, but... I think it's just when they turn around. So we'll go through this a little faster. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Like, I don't think the looking left and right is anything. Like, I went really conservative before, like, I didn't need to have it that serious, but... Okay, cool. So- oh, this is open now. Oh. No talking to this library, I guess. Hey, you. Hey, remember me? Haha, <laughs> very funny. Marin, right? Uh, is that it? Okay. It seems to be the most intense part of the game so far. Let's see what this is. You might have borrowed this rope, right? Thanks, man. Oh, cool. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Like, I thought it was a little more intense than it actually ended up being. Oh, great! 
I love it when they do stuff like that too, because I'm like, I don't really want to do it again, you know? The cafeteria was crowded today. Some things were even sold out. But just like usual, the amount of food remaining and the money we made don't add up, slippery kids. Should I show them that I have the climbing rope? I can climb the mountain first. You can join our team. Oh, I guess they, they, they didn't really care that much. Nothing beats a rope to climb a wall or skip school. Cute. <sighs> well, it's unexpectedly dis difficult. Maybe I should consider joining the climbers club, but I'm out of school. I have to meet up with Raya. Old man's grape concoction. Is this one alcoholic? Nowadays, people throw things away without a care in the world. This roof tile looks sturdy enough. Whoa, whoa, where do you think you're going, buddy? Shoo! Now sit. He's not listening to me today. What's going on, boy? You've been restless all day. Hmm. I think it's the name of the cats. Hey, I've never seen you before. Call him Soap. Oh, is this an indie game I saw on the PS5 menu? Uh, I saw on your PS5 menu, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's cool. I like it so far. Um, interested in sticking with it. It does seem like, um, structurally, it's kind of, you know, you go around and talk to people and you sort of have, like, a bunch of chained fetch quests um but it seems sweet the writing's nice love the art so i'm like okay it's um it's a little on the longer side for a game like this it's more like 10 hours so i'm curious as to if i'm gonna feel like super hot on it by the time i get to the end but so far i like it it's nice it's cozy uh let me see if it's other oh it's everywhere actually it's on switch it's on um Xbox is on PC. Let me triple check that's right. I believe it is. A Space for the Unbound. I believe it's on everything. It's 20 bucks. Yep, it's on everything. PS5, PS4, Xbox One, Switch, PC. Um, yeah, it's, re it's really cute. So he was looking for you and your lady friend. Oh, crap. Haha, <laughs> don't worry. I won't tell him you two are on a date smooching and everything. Ew. That's a colorful way to put it, but thank you. Yeah, oh. creep vibes. Uh, it seems like there's gonna be some cool, like, supernatural stuff going on with, like, the book and everything. Yeah, it's very, it's, it's a very quaint experience. Oh, there's a torn envelope here. The letter is nowhere to be found. It says from Situan to, to Sri. Well, the stamp is still intact. Don't mind if I do. There she is. There you are. You took way too long. I had to take a detour, you know? The teachers uh, launched a manhunt to find me. You shouldn't be surprised. Skipping school is all about the thrill, right? But still, you took way too long. How did you manage to get out so fast? I have my ways. Maybe I'm talented skipping school. Meow. You agree with me, huh? Good kitty. Purr. Hey, why don't you buy some... Why don't we buy some cat food for her? We can make cat food. I heard Karuna Jaya's general store has everything. Let's check there first. I don't have money to buy cat food. Oh, right. I forgot about you bought five packs of fried rice during break this morning. You always say you can't resist the smell of them frying. The oh, man. Oh, rice and garlic. So good. Do I? You do. Typical Atma. What about the money? Why don't you check your pockets? You might have some coins left. I told you I don't have any. Oh, you're right. I still got some money. How deep is this pocket? More story? Always listen to your girlfriend. Of course, you're the smart one here. Meow. Look, she's hungry. Let's check the general store. Yes, ma'am. Oh, wait, wait. Let's look at all the stuff. Tongue Festival 2XXX. Prepare for the best Ling Tang festival ever. What kind of festival is this? Oh, they're boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so these are, like, not the same people from the dream? Though, it's possible that she is... 
the girl in the story, like the princess, but like the little girl, it was like in the dream, it was him and like a young girl. And they were like, I guess they were friends or whatever. Like, I don't know how they became friends, but they were cool in the dream. They both kind of drowned. But he said, like, when I woke up, I saw Raya, this girl was right next to her, her face in the sky, which makes it sound like she is the princess from the little girl's story, but we don't really know yet. And it would make sense with, like, the relationship she has with cats and stuff, but we'll see. It's been a while since this movie was shown at the cinema. The poster is worn away. I think one thing this game does really well, because there's a lot of games like this, right? And it's like, that's kind of what I was going back to of, does this, you know, anything can be fun for fun's sake, but there's always that question of, does this really stand out as, like, elevated above other games? And I, I don't know the answer to that yet, having played this. I'm liking it so far. It's very cozy, very cute. Uh, one thing I think is really cool is the fact that the town has a bit of liveliness to it with just having the additional animation in the foreground, stuff going on in the background. Like, I think those little details really are crucial in a game like this. So, yeah, cool to see. Come on, let's get the cat food for her. This is gonna take forever because I'm gonna talk to everybody. Dum dum drum go dum. Hey, you can't pass through here. Uh, okay. See, this is like the flower from the dream. I was written on the plaque. With the rest of God Almighty, this monument was inaugurated May 31st, 1980 to commemorate the 667th Local City Founding Day. Which feels like a webtoon novel. Yeah, it's it's got that aesthetic to it. After the financial crisis, the price jumped to a thousand. Fun science trivia, know your body, volume three. Descormation, commonly called skin peeling, is the shedding of the outermost membrane of the layer of tissue, such as the skin. Oh, gross, thanks. Psst. I'm a kid, want a cigar? No thank you, cigarettes are not good for your body. Damn it! I got the letter O again, I give up. There's no way I can get the rest of the letters. I'd rather collect something more reasonable, like stamps. Yeah, that would do it. I will say, like, so far the... Not that it needs to be hard, but the way, like, the stuff connects is very... Is drawn with, like, a thick black sharpie. Um... Have a guy out here. But I don't think that's necessarily bad. I'm just hoping that a few things take longer for me to like connect those dots. Where like, like I would love to. I think for now, since it's early, giving you those e those quick wins is good. But I'd hope for like later things to like connect and swing around a little bit more interestingly. We'll try. Finally, next sound. Okay. All right. At the risk of spoilers, I just see if ooh there is a platinum for it. There is a platinum, so... We'll see! We'll see! Could be cool. And that's honestly why I got it on PlayStation. Like, also, too... I mean, I wasn't sure if they'd... If it mattered too much for when I put the request in, but... Switch usually has the least amount of codes available. Like, the number one for codes is always PC, and the, the worst for codes is always Switch. Um, but also then, it's like, okay, I can talk about it on PS I Love You this way. Even though there are also times I talk about games where I'm like, hey, I played this on another platform, but it's on PlayStation, so I want to shout it out. But it's nice to get to talk about like things like performance and trophies and things, so. Uh, welcome. Are you a wedding guest? No, sorry. Wrong turn. Here for the wedding, too? What a shame. Poor groom's bride is a... Yeah, I'd better go. Oh, wait, is that a fucking reference to, um... What's the name of that song? Um... The I chimed in with a... Wait, is that Fall Out Boy or something? No, Pag of the Disco. Yes. Um... What a shame the poor groom's body. I, I know that song, but I just don't listen to the band at all. That's that's pretty funny. What a beautiful wedding. Anyway. Cool bike. There aren't a lot of uh, rich kids at school. I wonder who owns it. 
but there's a cat from around the swamp. Okay, cool. Okay, so this is the general store. To the general store. Now, where do they keep the cat food? Bookkeeper, cashier, cleaner. I do everything myself. I should get a raise. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, wait. I'm self-employed. Damn! Yo, that shit hit. That shit hit really hard. I was thinking if he, should, he would do the same dialogue again. Damn, ain't that the fucking truth? Chocolate flavored... I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Is it is the chi she? But the cat's can't eat chocolate, okay. Oh, I love seaweed. And a soda. So refreshing on a hot, hot day. Gulp. No, hell no. This cat can't drink this. It's harder than I thought it should be. Hey, I couldn't help but overhear your loud grumbling. You're looking for cat food, right? I think it's right next to the cashier. Yep, right here. One pack of cat food. Thanks. Uncle, your customer was confused. Why didn't you help out? Oh, it's you, Lulu. I have so much to do, you know. Cleaning the shelves, checking income goods, incoming goods. Besides, you're here to help me. Oh, maybe he wasn't angry. Don't get used to it. I'm a customer too, Uncle. There's someone who can help. Why don't you ask Eric? No, no, my son is no good. He cares only for his motorbike. He never even studies. I try to beat some sense of him every day. What a bothersome boy. Oh, I guess he is mean, actually. Beating him is not a good thing, Uncle. Try talking to him. You're still young, Lulu. You'll understand when you have a kid of your own. Oh, like father, like son. They're so hard to talk to. Oh, you're still here. Are you shoving much? I just want to say thanks for your help with the cat food. It's nothing. I'm Lulu, by the way. And you are? Atma. You're wearing your school uniform, but I've never seen you here before. I've never seen you either. What? I'm Lulu... Lulu Otavianti? President of the Student Council last year? That doesn't ring any bells. Everyone knows me. How oh, cute. Not everyone, apparently. Damn! Roasted. You're weird. Well, thanks for finding this for me. I gotta go. Take care, weird guy. Okay, she was like a little a little snobby, but then she kind of saved herself. Where do you think you're going? Going out? Without paying for that cat food? Oh, sorry. Maybe the purchase kiddo. Come again. My bad. I was just about to shoplift by accident. Jeez. Boy, bad dog. Come here. Oh, no. Woof, woof. No! The animals! Oh, no. How did this happen? What's going on? I'm the cat. She... Uh-uh. We have to hurry and help the cat. Okay, let's go. Trying to help the cat. The cat's getting in a fight. Where'd the cat go? No, 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 no. I'm getting stressed now. There, through the gate. Let's go. Dun, dun, dun. Hold on, wait, wait. Just because we care about this cat doesn't mean we can't interact with everything first. Let's just take our time here. Hee 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 hee. Isn't he so dumb? Huff huff. Damn. Spare a coin, young lad. I can use some money for food. Oh. This bowl in here. Sorry, that's mine. It's my blessings bowl. My apologies, sir. Well, let's turn just. This bag is actually in good condition. I d do I know anyone that could give it a good home? Oh wait, wait, oh shoot! Now there's something on the ground. It was shiny. I'm so curious. Cats can be dead. There, that tree. Oh. Woof, 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 woof. No. The music is so tense. It's like a boss battle. Oh shoot! What should we do? 
There must be a way to drive the dog away. Okay, let's try this. Hey, doggy, doggy, look at what I got. Okay. Ignored. Completely ignored. Maybe it's interested in something else. Hmm. We got chased him before. Wasn't that the dog's owner? Right, we can ask him. Good idea. I'll go find a way to calm him down. Can you say look after the cat? Okay, please be quick. Okay, so I can't get any closer. Too dangerous to approach. Okay, now we're cooking with oil because I don't know the answer to this. But I'm excited to find out. I can't keep up with him anymore. I lost his favorite toy near the general store, but I tried to look for it. It was already gone. Okay, well, they kind of answered it for me, but it's fine. Hey, it's the guy. It's the son. Is it the dog toy that the owner mentioned? Who is that? The uniform. No, he's the son. Hey, that's, huh? Isn't that a dog toy? Where'd you get it? None of your business, prick. Could I have it? Sorry for not seeing your tail earlier. I didn't realize you needed a shoe on this. What? No, there's a dog that... Hey, woof, woof. Buzz off. Go whine to someone who gives a damn. What's your problem, dude? I'm asking nicely. You can at least answer properly. You're the problem, mutt. Some random kid coming out of nowhere, flirting with girls, doing whatever you want. And you're dumb enough to try to tell me what to do? Don't you know who I am? I'm Eric. My gang rules this town. You better watch yourself around us. Okay, look. Just let me have the toy and I won't bother you anymore. Oh. You want it so bad? Well, life's been rough lately. You see? I need to loosen up a bit. I need to ride my bike into the sunset smoking a big cigar. What a tragedy. You want me to get a cigar? I wouldn't ask, but you just offer it like a good puppy. There, there. Go fetch me a pack of cigars, mutt. This guy's an asshole. <laughs> okay, well, that guy who offered to let me smoke. But also, let's pet this cat first. I've never seen you before. Slam it. I heard what's going on. I'm like, don't worry. No questions asked. You need a cigar, right? I have one right here. Are you sure? You were in trouble studying in high school? How something to kids even younger than you? Isn't that illegal? Business is business, my friend. Thanks for the cigar. I promise it's not for me. Hey, Spacey! Thanks for the raid with the party 18. Appreciate it. Uh, welcome in, raiders. The Spacey Invasion! Cute! What a nice little uh, shout out. And look, we had a little emote explosion. Let's see. Spacey in Vader. Yeah. Oh, Final Fantasy 7 Remake. First time playing it, replaying it. What's the situation? Um, that game's pretty cool. The combat's amazing in that game. I'm not a big fan of the story, but um, the combat's really good. It's very pretty looking. There's a big bird at one point. Super fun. Uh, it's going cool. We're playing um, A Space for the Unbound. Uh, so this is Friday, Best of 2023 Watch, where we play the latest games, such as the greatest games of the year. Um, so right now we're playing A Space for the Unbound. Came out, I think, like a week or so ago. Maybe a little more. And people have been talking about it. Um, yeah, that was me too. I was My first Final Fantasy was actually 7 Remake. People have been talking about this game. Um, so I'm like, let me check it out. It seems up my alley. Uh, liking it so far. The art's very cute. The writing's really well done. So far, it's a little simplistic in how the fetch quests kind of go and connect. Um, but it's charming enough that that doesn't bother me too much. It's, it feels like a very relaxed kind of game. Here. Oh, what a good boy. Should I give you a pat? Um, I like the dramatic music changes, too, for, like, the different tones of things. Can I get the dog tour now? Hey, dog. I have a name. It's Atma. Whatever. Just answer one question before I give you this. Is there anything between you and Raya? Something between us? Air, I guess. Trying to be funny right now? How about turn around three times, sit, and then fetch my stick? What's this nonsense and 
Don't go back on your word. A cigar for the toy. Such an accusation. I'm not a dog like you. I'm a man of my word. Here. Go run and wag your tail elsewhere. I mean, this guy's such a jerk. Um, yeah, the art is really, really charming. Yo, he's about to... What the fuck's gonna happen right now? He's gonna jump me or what? <laughs> Blech. Oh, what the... It tastes like crap. Why do people like this? <laughs> what a waste. Oh, maybe... Oh, wait. We have to give it to the owner. You found it! You can come down with that. Oh, I thought I need- I thought the owner was gonna like help out. I guess whatever, you know. Oh, he loves me now. Oh cute. Oh pfft. That's not really that helpful. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Got a good throw going there. Um, I will lurk. Uh, but glad to be recovered. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. Enjoy your meal. I'm gonna do the same thing after I'm done streaming, so definitely relate to that. Nicely done. Oh, the cat is in distress. Look at him. Also, I've seen my cat run. I, my cat would not outrun this dog. I'm just gonna let you know right now. Bruce would be done in like a cool half a foot i don't think she'd be dead she'd be beat up she won't be the same after that as a thing i don't think my cat could climb a tree either she's not very agile it's a thing oh cute i love stuff like this oh the cat's screaming it's crying no, it's okay. You can't run, Mama. It's okay. I got this. Here, kitty, kitty. I've got you. <laughs> the princess looked up to the night sky and thought, "The things we do for our cats." Cute. It's time to say goodbye to leave the world behind. Do you want to hear the final chapter? Hold on, Normala. Atma! Raya! Oh, it says Atma. Sorry, I like, read that funny. Oh, shit! She got fucking superpowers? And, like, little stuff like this, like, there's, like, some layers kind of underneath the, like, very chill slice of life. And I think that's the most compelling part so far. Um, are you okay? I... What happened? You fell. Are you hurt? No, I don't feel any pain. What were you thinking? Be careful next time, dummy. Hey, calm down. I'm okay. How can I calm down? You're not a cat. Meow. This is no time for joking around. What was that meow about? That was silly. Huh. Ha 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 Why are you meowing all of a sudden? That's really silly. Ha 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 Okay. You're really brave up there. Thank you, Emma. Sorry for making you worry. Meow. She's safe. Poor soul. You're all right now. Oh. What is it? Has she always lived a life full of danger like this? Not to mention the heat or rain. We're... Has she been taking shelter? Living with a stray cat is tough, huh? Meow, meow. I can't take a cat home. Me neither. What if we made a her a house? What? You could build it here. A shelter, a safe place to sleep. Wouldn't that be great? That would be wonderful. Purr. She agrees. Well, where do we start? Did you buy the cat food? Um, I have it. Nice. Then we need something to put the put her food in a bowl, maybe. As for shelter, we need a board of some kind, something strong enough to make for a sturdy wall, and a pillow inside so it's comfy for your sleep. What do you think? A bowl for the cat, a board for the shelter, and a pillow. That's easy enough. Well then, good luck. Wait, I'm searching for this stuff for myself. 
Once you got the mobility together, I have something else to do here in the meanwhile. What is that? Finding her a name. What? Come on, don't keep her waiting, if you say so. Cute. Hey. Do 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 All right. Well, there's a bowl where that man is. Huff huff bow wow, bow wow, huh? What boy, you're back. Bow wow, wolf wolf. Oh, you're in a good mood. Who's a good boy? You are. Yes, you are. Damn. Cause it's mine. Yay! That's what I was trying to do from the jump, but... He didn't- well, should I- I'll have to come over with everything, yeah? Let's see... No, you can't pet the dog. Can't like talk- well, you can talk to the dog, yeah? Oh no, you can't. Oh yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Woof woof. There, there. Oh, you can't pet the dog. Okay. Cool, cool. Part of our goal is to find the fluffiest animals. My boys, we reunited with favorite toy. It's your doing. Thank you. Doon, 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 doon. Okay, so we need the bowl, the board, the pillow. Okay, now it's getting interesting because I have not seen a pillow or a board. Okay, so it's the wedding thing. Okay. Okay, what's this guy up to? Oh yeah, the stamp, the stamp. Okay, this guy sells the cigars. I don't think I've seen this cat before. A cherry. Yay! Have I seen this guy before? Adele, yeah. There's a lot of cats here. Pillow aboard. Hmm. Have you seen this cat before? I think I've seen this one before. Yeah, soap. What's up, soap? Oh, I always forget to like- I always leave the Bidoof hat on for too long. It's supposed to be like a 15 minute. Redemption, and I just forget that I have it on. Do 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 Let me bring this down a little bit. Make this a little bit more snug. Hmm. Have I been here yet? Oh, now these guys are here. This is where I came from. Can't do it. I just want that roof tile on my way. You think you can raid our place and get away with it, huh? That's not what I mean. No, you're acting all smart, eh, bro? But are you smarter than us? Huh? Quiz. Yeah, it's time for a quiz. The three brothers quiz. Answer our three questions correctly. You can have whatever you want. Okay. Why a quiz? Or what to- Why? Why a quiz? You're joking, right? Quizzes are everything, dummy. Here's the question. What day- Oh, fuck. I don't know. I want to say August. Ooh, yay! Yay! Oh, the date of, uh, Indonesia's independence. Okay, that's correct. Now, the second question. 
This I, oh, I know this. I know this. I know this. Uh, it's yeah, disclamation. Yep. Okay. I think the I think the independence might have been written on like one of the things. And is the Bosco is the, is the Baxo Baxo in front of the school any good? Not a question. Is that just answer, bro? Yeah, answer, bro. Well. Fuck. Well, the game takes place in Indonesia. And they're like, it's a test of patriotism. I'm like, okay. Um. Fuck. I don't know what is the... In front of the school? I haven't had it, I don't think. Fuck is it? Wait, hold on. Wait, what is it? Because I, I ate a lot of that rice thing. Is that the rice thing? No, this is like a meatball. It says it's a Indonesian meatball. I like rice. Like my character ate, bought a bunch of rice. I'm gonna say it's not that good, just okay. Is that so? Wait, you've never tried it before? No, that's what I'm asking you. Yeah, you're dumb, bro. Let's try it out. Good idea. Let's go. Yeah. Do they realize that the stall's closed for the day? I'll take it. Should protect the cat from the weather. Okay, so now we just need the pillow. Oh, maybe we can get the pillow from the library, but I don't think we can go back to school, so... The pillow's the only thing I'm not sure about. What a disappointment. What a scam. Yeah, I guess I, I guess I didn't mention it on that plaque, but... Yeah, this is the skin peeling thing. Yeah, I can buy a pillow from here? We sell everything. Do y'all sell pillows? Probably not. Where am I gonna find this pillow? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna just go up to her with what I have. And maybe, um, it'll be fine. Find all the materials. Maybe this way? We haven't gone this way yet. Yes! Haha! -ha! Fuck yeah. Alright. Stomp, 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 stomp. I thought I got everything. Oh, okay. Oh, I think she Wait, sorry, I have to ask her again. <laughs> oh, I think she said a board and something sturdy. Oops. Sorry, girl, I gotta ask you again. Okay. The bowl. And then she wants to fill the bowl with the cat food. A pillow. A board. And a sturdy wall. Okay, so I need the board still. Because I have the sturdy material. Okay. 
Where do I get this board from? Hmm. How am I like, okay, I'm like, I'm walking faster than this bike. Like, how is this possible? It finally passed me. It must be going really slowly. this board hmm I feel like I'm standing on the boards right I wonder if I can give the bite to those guys but like I can't pick up the bike though so I don't know how I would Maybe I talk to that jerk guy again. Maybe he will take the bike. Oh, he's gone. Wait, this guy? Hmm. Maybe that area, I missed something in that like side left area maybe? Kind of the same thing because my objectives don't have. Oh, maybe I have to like do everything in pieces then. Okay, I guess I didn't need something else. I thought I, I thought the board and the story thing were separate. Yes, yeah, most great, right? Can't see that's not polite. What are you talking about? Nothing. The wall looks decent at least. She didn't like it. It's fine. The old pillow's still soft. You're gonna get nice sleep with this. Oh, okay, so it actually was all fine. Whoa, it's done! Looks better than I expected. That's right, it's your new home. Use it however you like, Admiral. Admiral. Yes, I decided on a name for her. How is it? it? Sounds so strange. I know, right? We are your friends from now on, Admiral. Oh. <laughs> we can check on her anytime, right? Yes, you were right. Oh, what time is it? I forgot about the movie. Let's go. I hope there are still some seats left. Don't worry about it. I'm sure there are exactly two free seats for us. <coughs> See you later, Admiral. Meow. Meow. Can I not pet this cat? This is this bullshit. Okay, cute. Yeah, I'd like to keep playing this, but again, got it. we got a lot of games, not a lot of time. Um, I think I will keep playing. Let me see. Let me see if it's uh, chapter based or something. Because we're on chapter one. 
I don't know if people have how many chapters this is. Um... Oh, it does not? I could not find the answer offhand. Um... I don't know if I want to look at the trophies because I'm worried about spoilers from the trophies. So... TBD on that, but... We'll see. Um, if I keep playing it, y'all will probably know if you follow me on Twitter because I'll probably be tweeting about it. Maybe I'll talk about it on PS I Love You. I'll probably talk about it a little bit on PS I Love You. It's just like a new game. Maybe mentioning that I beat Dead Space because hopefully by next episode I've beaten Dead Space. Um, but yeah, y'all, this was Best of 2023 Watch where we play the latest games and search for the greatest games of the year. Um, please stick around because... Okay, so next week, probably on Tuesday because I don't think I want to do a bonus Monday stream. Maybe I'll do a bonus Monday stream. I don't know yet. If I do a Monday stream, it'll just be like grinding in that tower. Um, and then I'm thinking of making Tuesday stream just really long, like locking in for the night going hard as fuck on this yakuza game because i really want to finish it um because what is it yakuza what's that one coming out ishan is like around the corner and i i really want to finish this game before playing it i don't need to narratively but like i just emotion i mentally and emotionally need to like be done and i'm really trying to be on it with not playing too many games at one time this year and dedicating to beating games that's what we're doing um, we still do our taste test, but we also are going to pick a game and, and stick with it. Um, all right, y'all. So again, next stream will be Tuesday, probably be a long one. Light chance I might do a Monday bonus stream. Be sure you're following me on Twitch, put notifications on if you really want to be notified when I go live. Um, but I also tweet it out. I put it in discord, all types of good stuff. I think I have to refresh that discord link too, because I don't think it works anymore. Um, anyway, this was best of 2023 watch. Inklenati, solid, worth checking out, decent time. This one, kind of same deal. This one feels a little bit more charming to me than Inklenati. I think, you know, just for me as a player, I'm more driven to story stuff. I love the art here. Um, very cozy feel. Enjoyed both of these games. We'll see how it shakes out down the line. Um, please stick around for the raid. Before we do our raid, of course, I want to give a thank you to all y'all viewing following subbing moderating and of course my sponsors over on patreon you too can join over on patreon.com slash game assist with rewards as low as one dollar tier all the way up to the 25 sponsor tier like my sponsors i of course i'm talking about none other than biscuits with davy edwin garcia ian dobbins kevin fair nina mckee mick aka the nanobiologist abramson Platform Fanatic, Play Jason, Railton, and Spencer Cassiano. Thank y'all so much for supporting me over on Patreon. Again, great way to support all the content I make. Um, and again, please stick around for the raid that is coming up.